is there is there anything that happened in the house that was kind of juicy that uh, <laughs> that you could share, or maybe you're not allowed to share? Ooh, see what I can get into here. Mm, 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 mm. Well, tell the fans. Well, tell us more. Juicy, 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 juicy. I'm sure there were some juicy moments. All right, guys. I'm just going to do a quick little intro before we get started here today. Um, I'm starting a new podcast called The Johnny Show, as you can see. This is really going to be about my life, uh, all the knowledge and little golden nuggets that I've learned along the way. Uh, I'm not really going to have any rules. Uh, I just really enjoy sitting down and having a great conversation with like-minded people. So I was always inspired by, you know, other podcasts such as Full Send, uh, Logan, Logan Paul and Paul, so, you know, self Joe Rogan. And uh, I said, why not just start my own? Because... Uh, like I said, I, I don't even care if this goes anywhere. I just enjoy sitting down and having good conversations with good people. So here we are. So I wanted to start today off with uh, a banger. So <laughs> I uh, reached out to my good buddy, John Leonard. And uh, I said, you know, he's the perfect guest to start this off because he knows so many different people. And he's Canada's favorite player. player. And my name is Johnny. So it kind of worked out pretty good. It I worked mean, out. better than one, right? So Yeah, Johnny Squared. So it's called the Johnny, Johnny Show. So. Yeah, yeah, might as well start it off with a couple of Johnnies. And yeah. uh, we've been talking. And then this is the first episode. This could be uh, this could be something. This could be Johnny you Squared. Know. Could you be a co-host. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, for those of you that don't know John Leonard, uh, just do a little introduction because I'm sure there are some people that don't know, but most of Canada, yeah. most of Canada do know. Okay, for, for those of you who know me, hey, hello, uh, nice to see you. Uh, for you, for those of you who don't know me, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Jonathan Leonard, aka Johnny, from this past season, season eleven of Big Brother Canada, and I was fortunate enough and blessed to be crowned and voted Canada's favorite player, and that's something that'll mean something to me for the rest of my life. Uh, so yeah, that's a little tidbit about me, and I've known Johnny here. For the past, what was it, like 10 years, like a long time, man? Uh, long what was it? Probably since like 2016-ish, maybe? 2016 I think it was 2016, yeah, 17. Yeah. yeah, around there, around there. Uh, yeah, so, you know, we've got a history. So, uh, yeah, I'm just happy to be here, happy to be part of the very first show of the Johnny Show. So, you know, stay tuned, guys. This thing is going to be special. I mean, like, is is going to be something very entertaining. So, uh, I'm just really happy to be here, happy to be part of it. So, yeah, so a little bit of background there. So uh, myself and John actually used to work together for his brother, Chris. Yeah. And yep. um, it's funny because back then, like the work we were doing <laughs> where it was... Uh, oh, busting our ass. Busting our ass. Busting but, our ass, yeah. you know, as shitty as the work was, you know, laying sides and, you know, working in the rain sometimes and all that Very shit. Very laborious, yeah. But you know, building fences and everything. Like it was okay, but like, it's just not something that I think like me and you wanted to do for the rest of our lives. Uh, yeah, no, for sure. Like it's something, well, Hey, uh, I've well worked in a fishery for many years. Then like, uh, like I worked with my brother. I've been very fortunate to have, uh, Chris in my life because like he's, he, well, he, you know, took a chance to start the company and has been very, very, he's worked very hard at keeping it going and building on it. And, you know, years down the road, he's, uh, quite successful in what he's doing uh but uh i mean if you could take one thing out of what we did is and what we carried into what we do now is the work ethic you it's know the yourself. work ethic yeah. yeah yeah so like you know yourself like you're you know you bust your ass day in day out yeah at what you're doing and i do the same thing and i like to think that that type of work you know kind of installed that into us right yeah so, well yeah that's that's what i, I say to myself sometimes so mm-hmm. i was going to say like as a shitty as that was those were still some of the best working days I found of my life because of the group that we had, the yeah. crew. Oh, hands down. It was hands like down. me, you, Mike Pittman, Calvin Taylor, Chris Richards, mm-hmm. Chris, your brother. Like, oh, yeah. It was Couldn't su- ask for a better crew. Like, literally yeah, every day we had such a laugh. Oh, for sure. And, like, you know yourself when you're rocking with Chris. You're, oh, my you're, God. You're in for a laugh, right? But, uh, yeah, no, man. You know, those, and that just goes to show you, like, no matter what you're doing and what where you're doing in life, it's just a blip and you know what I mean? So like, and what does it do? It, in, you know, it gives you memories and like looking back, you know, back then, yeah, the work was hard and it was like, you know, you know, laborious. But like the one thing I remember is the fun we had. Like, oh dude, we had God. so much laughs. Like it was so fun. Like we could have been laying sod uh, on someone's line and just having fun with it, bro. Shirts off, sun, sun going, tans going, you know, working our asses off and just, you know, 
being foolish. Yes, you know? man. So, you know, you know, those times are were special too, right? So, it's, it, you know, it's fun to look back at and like, hell, if I hadn't have done it, you know, me and you would have never met. Right? Exactly, so, like, right? There you go. You, you're lost in, right? Oh, yeah. No, I had some... <laughs> no, no. I had, man, I had such a good time. I always talk to Chris Richards about it too. And yeah. like, like, we laughed every fucking day, man. Mm-hmm. It was so fun, right? Mm-hmm. And so it's funny because... I, I I look back and I'm like, man, if I didn't work a job like that, yeah. and by the way, might I throw out there that Chris was probably the best person like to ever work for and still is like, he's amazing. Yeah. He's definitely my top four. Yeah, for sure. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just he's kidding. my top 10. <laughs> I'm just joking, Chris. No, he's great. Love no, your brother. Yeah, right. But, yeah. but it's just funny. Like if you, if you didn't, if you're not in that hard place where you don't, you know, you don't want to be for the rest of your life. Yeah. You don't have the drive or the motivation to get out of it to do something that you do want to do because mm-hmm. you're not happy mm-hmm. and you're not like comfortable. So it almost makes you work harder because you're like, oh. well, I'm not staying here forever. Hey, no, no. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. And that's what got me into this whole video thing because, mm-hmm. as you know, uh, you know, I started a YouTube channel because I was into the gym. I had a big appetite and I started like, you know, Johnny the Food Junkie, which yeah. you took a chance, man. I took a chance. I just and started it. Right. Yeah. It, and listen, man, that's kind of what life's all about is taking chances. Like, hey, you can wait. Like for me, for example, like I was in the fishery my whole life. And then when I was around 18 or 19, I got a trade and I was in the, in the oil and gas for 13 years. Uh, I knew that's not where I wanted to be for the rest of my life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but uh, I worked my ass off in whatever field I was in. Yeah. Uh, a, to support my family and money and all that good stuff. But hey, it led me to where I am today. And like, it came to a point in my life where it was the right time to make a change. And that's what I did. I took a chance. And that's what I'm doing right now. Like, I'm, I'm taking a chance. I'm, a, I'm betting on myself. Yeah. And, uh, you know, fortunately enough, I got a lot of love and support. And my family supports me. My, my beautiful wife and, you know, my son, Liam, uh, my brothers and all those people support me in what I'm doing right now. And that's what I'm trying to do is, you know take a chance on myself uh and, you know and but like those 13 years of me in the trade for example uh in the you know heat and frost insulator all my brothers and sisters and the locals and out there busting their ass you know clanging and banging uh i met a lot of great people a lot of men and women who shaped me into who i am today people ask me like why am i the way i am is because of the men and women i worked next to in the trade like you know yourself like working like you you're you're a heavy equipment operator you worked with in construction and you learn a lot from the men and women you work with. Like I remember, uh, for example, like Glenn Barrett and, and Matt Walsh and like all, and you know, my uncle Byrne, like these men helped shape me into the man I am now. And, and as respectful as I am, as hardworking as I am, I, you know, it doesn't matter what field you're in, you can take a lot out of it. It doesn't mean that you're in the field you belong, but like if you're in it and you're working hard and you're meeting people, you're learning, you're growing. And then you grow and you move on and into where you're supposed to be, so. You never stay stagnant. Or you shouldn't because yeah. you're no. either learning or you're, you're you're either going up or you're either going down. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Well, that's the thing. So, uh, like for me, when I finished school, I done carpentry school. Mm-hmm. Like, right? I, I, I nobody knows what they want to do. No. Right. You're, you're learning. You, you got to do something though, right? Because you you finish school and you, you got to do something. So yeah, I done Absolutely. that. Absolutely. <laughs> and I learned that that's not what I wanted to do. So mm-hmm. okay, I went back and done heavy equipment. Done mm-hmm. that for a few years, but mm-hmm. I, I done both carpentry and heavy equipment working for your brother. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which was some of the greatest years of my work in life. Like exactly. best crew ever. Sure. And I'm always learning off people. Right. So, mm-hmm. but then I'm like, man, this is also not what I want to do. Exactly. So cool. don't be afraid to try new things until you find oh, out absolutely. something absolutely. that lights you up. Yeah. Yeah. And for me, that was finally, you know, getting into videography and YouTube and all that stuff. And mm-hmm. which, which led us to here today Yeah. is yeah. I started this uh, with like a very cheap camera and I just, got into it started making videos mm. and uh, slowly just start buying more and more to get all this gear i have today and um it's just funny because like back then like if you if we looked at each other like you would never in a million years think that this would be happening here today oh absolutely not you know what i mean no 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 hey listen man like you know when you go into something different especially like you know doing something that hasn't been done a lot like you know you're walking the path you know not very least taken you're least taken so there, there's no one there to hand you the keys. There's no one there to hand you a blueprint. Everybody's path is different. Yeah. Doesn't mean you're going the wrong way. You're doing it your way. Yeah. And like, I'm not saying like, you know, if you're a family man, family woman or whatever, or to drop your job and, and run out and start chasing dreams. But like, you can wake up each day and put a little thing in place to make things different. And then the next day, another little thing. And then the next day, and then those days will add up and maybe everything will come together and you can make a big change. So like, just, you know, without being selfish, sometimes you just need to think about yourself and where your heart is. So, and you, and you know, you don't have to drastically change your, your, your life immediately, 
but you can take a chance on yourself. You can put things in place, make yeah. a difference, right? Yeah, you really got to, you know, if you're stuck in a job that you hate, but you mm. got bills, okay? Oh, yeah. We understand that. Oh, yeah. You got a family and all sure that. Do. But at the end of the day, <laughs> you still got 24 hours. And even if you only have a half hour or mm. an hour a day, mm. you plant the seed of whatever it is you're into. And you water that every day, every day half hour to an hour, was whatever extra time you got every day, which mm -hmm. is what I've done, uh -huh. um, to get get that plant to a point where you can finally say, you know, I'm going to jump in now and go all in. Yeah. And that's what I've done. With, and then, which I left out the fact that, like, you know, that led me to a job with videography working at my last job with, with the O'Neill Auto Group. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. All sure. self-taught, but anyone can do this with anything, whatever they're into. If you want it bad enough, you'll you'll put the time in on the weekends and the evenings. Exactly. And you'll get to a point where you yeah. can jump. Yeah. And like, and hey, dude, like when you're doing something different, there's gonna be people telling you you're doing the wrong thing. There's gonna well, be people telling you not to do it. People telling you to stay safe. People telling you. And then when you're doing it, there's gonna be people telling you you're not gonna make it. There's gonna be people telling you, you know, wanting you to fail because they just won't. They they won't take that chance. You yeah, know what I mean? Don't. They won't take yeah, that shot. Yeah. But, uh, but hey, we don't listen to them. They're not in our circle. They're, but, uh, you know, you surround yourself by like-minded, positive go-getters. And, exactly. And, like, and that goes for anything, not just like an entertainment standpoint or like an acting or modeling or, or reality or, 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 or social or whatever. It goes for like if you want to be a teacher or a lawyer or, or, you know, academically challenge yourself. Like get out there and do it. Like, you know what I mean? And, you know, forget the noise. Like, cause there's going to be lots of noise and whatever you're doing. And there's going to be people telling you, you can't because they can't and there's, or they don't believe in themselves. So they don't want you to achieve squid and grab it, man. And run with it. And Hey, if you don't get there, fuck, at least you tried. You'll you know never I mean? know unless you try you and you don't want to be an 80 year old living with regret yeah. saying, what if, yeah, and you know, just be smart, get out there, be motivated and fucking go get it. At the end know? of the day, don't live life to please somebody else. Don't make somebody else happy. No. You got to make sure yourself is happy because if you're not happy, mm -hmm. You're just miserable every day, and then that reflects on your family. It and does. Your, your, you know, your little one, brother. It does. So hands you know, down, you know, you know yourself. Like yeah. you got a little girl. Yes, right. right. So like the last thing she wants to see is daddy rolling the door, depressed. Yeah. You know what I mean? Unhappy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Didn't. Because like as hard as it is to hide, you can try your hardest to hide those things. You can't hide it. But bro, like the people that love you the most and see you and care about you the most, it doesn't matter how good you are at acting, how good you are at hiding something. Yeah. You cannot hide it good enough. They will see it. Yeah. And if they truly do love you and they truly do support you, uh, they'll support whatever They'll support journey. you making that change to keep you happy. Because listen, man, it's your life. You got the one shot. Of, you got one shot at it. You, you deserve to be happy. You yeah. know what I mean? And like happy... When, when people hear happy or hear their dreams, uh, their goals or whatever, they think it's all sunshines and rainbows. Dude, there's seven days in a week. You could be living your dream and chasing your dream and be happy one of them. If you're happy one of those days, you're, 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 you're going in the right you're, direction. You're going in the right direction. Because, but if you're motivated and you wake up every day and your feet hits the floor and you're like, let's, let's fucking get it. Yeah. That means you're on the right track. Yeah. That means at the end of my life, I'm going to look back and know I bust my ass and yeah. live my life the best I could for me yes you know man. so and like you be and like and like I always say like people are like oh you know you gotta do what you gotta do you make money and support your family I did that I did that which is true very, I, which is very 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 true yeah. and like a lot of people got to do that like uh, you know I had to do that too you know and I do do that now like I bust my ass every day to make sure that my family got what they need yeah but at the same time I owe it to my son like to come home and like now when I come home from work or doing whatever I'm doing like this, like I'm happy, I'm fulfilled, you know? And like my son sees that and he's like, dad, what's up? I'm like, no, how was your day, dad? How did you, how'd your podcast go? How did this meeting go? How did that go? I'm like, good man, good dad. Dad's, dad's doing it. Dad's, you know, loving life. And he's like, yeah, I'd love to see it. And like, he's pumped yeah. and he sees that. And that's yeah. my son. Yeah. So like, dude, if he can carry that into his adult years and know that like, okay, dad's working his ass off and he's motivated and he's happy about it. I like to think that that'll rub off on him and he'll grow up knowing that, okay, you know, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to take life and I'm going to fucking live it. You're you know his role saying? model. You're his exactly. hero. Exactly. He looks right? up so, to you and, and the apple yeah. don't fall far from the tree. Yeah. yeah. So he's yeah. going to most likely be, he's inspired by you. Inspired by me. And like, listen, Hey man, like I'm not saying I'm anything special or like, you know, I'm, I'm I got it all figured out. Cause I don't, I'm learning every day. Every day. I'm growing every day. But I like to think that I'm trying, you know, and I like to see that I, I, I am learning every day. You, I'll wake up tomorrow knowing more than what I knew today. You never know it all. Exactly. So I just want him to know that, you know, life is about living and learning and growing. And then by the end, you can look back, have that cigar and say, shit, man, 
Just the championship ring is on my finger, <laughs> yeah. and, and I just won in life. You yeah, know? Man. So it's, yeah. It's, you know, so that's what it's all about to me, right? So it's just about the, it's about the feeling, because like, I worked a nine to five. I worked, I worked everything, bro. I worked. I've been working on boats since I've been twelve years old, and then got into trades and just been busting my ass making. And like, I'm very thankful for the trade I have. It gave me the house above my head, the food I eat. The food, uh, the clothes on my son's back that, you know, gave me my wife a life. It gave me a life and I appreciate every single, and if I go back to it, I will appreciate it. Got to work alongside both my brothers. My brother's a heat and frost insulator. He's worked, he's very blessed in there. And my, my brother owns his own construction company and I've worked alongside of both of them and that's a privilege. Uh, but now it's, I'm doing my own thing and uh, I appreciate everything that's happened to me in the past, everything that's been gifted to me. But uh, right now I'm going to push forward and, you know, I guess turn, close the chapter and move on to the next. And, yeah. And uh, hope, and, you know, hopefully it all turns out all right. But it's definitely not going to be from lack of trying. You never know until you try, dude. Exactly. So yeah. now that we're on this topic, mm-hmm. there's so many topics, I don't even know where to start. Um, <laughs> so um, what's your next direction you're going to take right now since, since the show? Oh, well, since the show, well, since the show has been crazy. Has it? Oh my God. So crazy. And, but so like, even like to the point where I'm just like, whoa, <laughs> it's a lot. What just happened? I just felt like I was hit by a tornado. Yeah. Uh, it's been like, it's been a challenge for sure. Like, you know, just trying to get back to who I am and stuff. But, uh, um, I'll say it till the, the day that I'm not here and I'll talk very positive about it. Like, um, big brother Canada changed my life. The people involved in it changed my life. The people that were in the cast changed my life. I gained a lot of family members off that show. Um, and so it changed my life in that regard, but it also changed something in me. So, cause like, uh, got, helped me realize that like, I love it. I love it, bro. Like the production, like the camera, you put me behind a camera. I love it just as much as I'm in front of it. Like I just love the entertainment industry. Yeah, man. It's just so, it's so it's, fun. Even this, like, oh, it's man. just me and you as a friend sitting down in front of two cameras and yeah. two mics having a conversation, but it just lights me up. It does. I don't know why. It lights you up. It makes you happy. It yeah. gives, you, gives, you, gives you that sense, right? So, and like, uh, you know, it, it also gave me a lot of opportunity, like, you know, being on television and stuff like that too. And I, uh, and, um, I'm recently trying to rewatch the season. I'm starting to get into it and see why, or, you know, it's weird watching yourself, but, uh, get winning at Canada's favorite thing is, um, well, I, it's a moment I'll never forget and it changed my life. And, you know, handing that card with my name on it to my son when I got home was something. I, oh, bro, man. if I could bottle that and sell it, I'd be like, yeah, Logan Paul prime wouldn't have a chance. <laughs> I, but anyway, yeah, bro, it was, uh, it, it's been fun. Uh, it's been crazy, but right now I'm trying to focus the last little bit of, you know, trying to cement my feet into the ground and, and, and pick a direction and run with it. And it's always been a dream of mine to be on film, to be on, like, just, be involved in you know acting or whatever be like mainly acting that's something i've always wanted to do um so i'm really tr- put my best foot forward to try to make that happen uh if any other um, opportunities come i definitely won't shy away from them like especially reality based or what have you or uh, and like the modeling thing too there's a couple things that popped up there so just really trying to pick a direction and really work hard to make it happen so right now it's just trying to you know right now just just summer i've been really trying to take my spare time and enjoy my family uh so uh but right now it's trying to go to work and right now i'm trying to trying to you know you know wet my beak in the acting world and try to get on film and modeling and like and uh who knows maybe some more reality tv if yeah the opportunity arises right so yeah just trying to stay busy and uh build my platform and um you know just really work hard at being being what i want to be so yeah yeah now I guess uh, we can touch on that too because I know this, but I don't know if everyone else does. But uh, you actually used to be a model, right? Yes. Um, back when I was like eighteen, nineteen years old, I did a, I did a, a, a bit of work, a nice bit of work. Um, I went to the states and stuff, and did AMTC a couple times, and um, so on and so forth. And I was, was really starting to take off for me. Like I really loved it, and like I, I was also like in Republic of the Oil and did some work on that and stuff like that. And man, I really loved it, and. Um, I was working hard at it, and I was a kid learning. But I, and then I became a father, and then uh, it, it was still taking off for me. But uh, I was, <laughs> I was kind of met with a decision: uh, yeah. either move to the very least Toronto or New York. Uh, even China was on the table. Um, but when you got a three-month-old baby boy looking up at you in your arms, 
the last thing you're doing is lo- moving away. Oh, dude, Bro, dude. And you know, I, I know. Yeah, you know, all you know about what I'm it. talking about. You oh, be dude, girl. I wouldn't be able to, no. Yeah, so like I was like, and you know, I, you know, still wasn't off the table like when I stayed home. It was still like a, a possibility, but um, I think I was working offshore at the time. I, I got a, a job on a 65-foot vessel, so I was gone. I was in the water more than I was on land. So, uh, and at the time it was necessary because you, when you're 19, 20 years old with a little boy, you, you know, you've got to, you've got to do what you got to do. Yes. And, that, and that's what I did. And that's what and I done. I, and I don't regret a second of it. And like, but like right now I feel like the, the, you know, it came full circle for me. Like it came, like the opportunity is out, found its way back to me. So like, I, I can't let it go. I really got to run with it. And like, Hey man, it might not go nowhere, but it's, uh, if it's up to me, I'm, I'm, it's going to go somewhere. I'm definitely going to try and put my best foot forward and bust my ass i have no doubt that you will i feel like mm. this is what you know you were meant to do yeah thank you because so. thank um you. I, I always i always joke around when you call it call you italian <laughs> stallion right it's italian stallion but mm-hmm. um i seen some of your old pics i was like holy fuck dude like this like you could easily see your old pics and be like yeah that's a fucking model like thank you bro. you were like thank you the appreciate you know that. Yeah. East, like you, as soon as you see like yeah model material like yeah and you yeah. still are it was oh, just like you, that bro. younger version of you yes yes um I, 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 but you still got it oh you still got it oh, i, I mean i i've got lots of gas left in this tank my man. <laughs> 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 and like you know and, and, you know and it goes back to but like my dream of mine is acting i really want to get on the yes, film and dude. i'm gonna try like I, you know I'm, I'm really working hard at making that a, a, a reality so i think you know without saying too much things are on the right track so yeah you know I'm sure we'll so certain things you can't say certain things so yeah. leave that there for now <laughs> <laughs> but bro yeah no uh but yeah back on the kid back, oh, on, back on the kid part of it man it's it's a blessing isn't it oh dude um dude. we've had this conversation before mm-hmm. um i don't know like when someone like your brother chris or you tell like told me when i never had a kid like mm-hmm. what it was like mm-hmm. um i was like oh yeah like that's like, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, like you know, yeah. and like your brother Chris tried to tell me that I wouldn't love my dog as much as my kid, and I was like, "Go on, by oh, like yeah. that's like that's no I love man. my dog. That's impossible." Like, my guy, right? And I was like, "Yeah, whatever." Man. He's like, "No, I'm telling you." And I was like, "Okay, whatever." Like, yeah, And yeah. now that I got her, man, there is absolutely nothing I wouldn't do for her. Bro. Like, uh, like, if it, like, oh, oh yeah. there's no words. Yeah, there's yeah. no love in in this world yeah. that exists that yeah. you've experienced. Yeah. Now I don't have a son, I don't know, but I'm sure it's the same feeling. But a dad's girl, oh, holy yeah. shit, dude! Like, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, like when I drop her off <laughs> to daycare in the morning, um, uh, when I I'm like starts to miss her in the afternoon, mm-hmm. like you know, like yeah. I lie down with her every night. Uh, yeah. She wakes up, she calls out to me, she's always hugging me, like is daddy this, daddy that. Like, I, I haven't experienced anything, any like feeling or love like that before in my life. Yeah. Like it's it's truly oh. insane. I'm getting to the point where she's turning three this month and i'm getting scared because Growing i don't up. want her to grow up i kind of want her to stay where she's too yeah and i'm like but i you know, I brought, you know i'm gonna be completely honest yeah. with you it, it does come and i know seen, right you know, my little boy is 13 years old now and i'm like i went to wrestling the other day like I, I, he's like come on dad let's go and i'm like yeah let's go bro like yeah that's cool go. too let's go and I, so i grabbed into him and i'm like whoa i actually had to lock in i'm like this boy's getting strong yeah, they cut down on the protein a little bit. He's gonna be throwing me around, but yeah, uh, right. But like, it happens so fast, man. It's like boom. Because like, I remember, well, first time I, I met my son, I came off the boat. And he was a week old, and I was I was driving this Pontiac Sunfire to to his mom's house to hold him for the first time, and I was shaking. I was like, man, I'm gonna lose him. I'm not gonna be able to hold him. What am I gonna do? Yeah. And as soon as that like glass door opened, and I seen him in his mom's arms, I was like. It, it, it goes back to what you just said. You do, you never knew that feeling existed. You never knew that that love existed. And then you, it was like it, I instantly grabbed, like I held him, and I never let him go. I fed him, and it was like it was like someone educated me in like a split second on how to be a parent. Like it was just it's wild. It, it was just like your, your, I guess your maternal, your, your you know yeah, your, just your something clicks. So, someone clicks in Saudi, and you're just, it's like the best feeling in the world. So yeah, it, you know, and I, I really do. And but like if I wish I, and like you just said, I wish I could go back for a day and see him like you know one two three four five six seven years old now. He's Man, the, mm, yeah, I'm in that stage now where it's just so funny and cute every day. Mm. Well, we're trying for another one, but we haven't had any luck. And uh, you know, mm. if it's meant to be, it'll be. But yeah, it's just to the point where it's like, I don't know. Like, I, I'm starting. Like, if I'm sick one night, like I was in bed one night, like uh, early because I wasn't feeling well. 
And then I start feeling bad, like because I was missing out on hanging out with her in the, yeah. in the, out, uh, out with her mom, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah, um, yeah. So it's just crazy. Like that's why I want to have another one because I I don't want to. I don't want this 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 like uh, feeling. I guess I guess the feeling will never end. But never. I know that this once she turns like six or seven, it'll still be great. But it's everyone says after yeah. five, like it starts to you know your baby's gone. Oh, your baby's gone. But. Uh, but I, I, like I said, I don't have a little girl. I got a little boy, but and he's thirteen. But like now, he's like my pal. Yeah, but see, that's yeah. just, I didn't experience that yet. See? Yeah, yeah. Now you're gonna you're gonna get it. Like, dad, dad daddy's girl's gonna oh, be like, oh, man. I'm getting that. Uh, mom's gonna say no. Dad will say yes. Yes, <laughs> man. So yeah, no, it's fun. It's fun being a parent overall, bro. Is like, is, it is a blessing, um, a literal blessing. Like you know. To be honest with you, if I never had my son when I did, when I was 19, 20 years old, I don't know where I'd be because when I did have him, I, it just like, I was locked in. I yeah. was like, I, my head is straight. I know what I got to do. Let's, let's, let's fucking do it. Like, you know, he need, he deserves this. He deserves this. He deserves this. I can't get it right now, but fuck, I'm going to get it tomorrow. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it really puts a good head on your shoulders, right? So I'm not saying go out and have a kid. They'll straighten your life out because everyone's different. But in my situation, it definitely helped me. You know, was I ready? Hell no. Hell no. I definitely not wasn't. Even, not even close, bro. Like, I, I was like, shit, man, I didn't have two rocks to rub together. I was busting my ass. And, yeah. And I didn't, you know what I mean? I, you know, I had to save up money to get a half case of beer or whatever. But, but like, shit's different now. You know what I mean? So, I, it, I was like, if this is what needs to happen. I'm going to make it happen. Well, that's so, what everybody says. They says, yeah. you're never going to be ready. Never. Because it's no. just the way it is. Like, if you wait till you're ready, same as, like, this podcast or... Uh, anything you do in life because mm-hmm. you're like you know I'm not ready yet I'll start that next week or no next month yeah. Or, yeah. you're never going to be ready so you really just got to start whatever it is including having a kid and you'll just figure it out along the way figure it out along the way bro like I said everyone's everyone's path is different there's no blueprint to anything no so. blueprint in life and there's no right or wrong way to live no fuck no. Uh, as long as you're happy yeah. and uh, you know just yeah. the biggest thing is keep an open mind open mind bro. because and be accepting yes. you know what i'm saying be accepting right. to change be accepting to different like that's the thing like a lot of people don't want to hear different a lot of people don't want to hear uh like everybody is different everyone's genetically made up different so yeah. everyone got a different opinion everyone got a different happy everyone got a different sad so you just got to be accepting of that and like and just acknowledge the fact that everyone's different in their ways and everyone lives a different life like you know so that's what i love about well going back to the big brother show, big brother show is um I got to go on that show, man, and meet people and and from all around the world and or all around our country and and world, uh, you know. So you know that alone to me was such a cool experience, and I got to make friends that I never would have met without this experience, like you know Hope and and Coos and and you know and Ty and like you, you know and uh, all these people that I never would have met and like my brother Rob and like you know. But, like, to hear everyone's story, like, when I sat down with the crown on the show and, like, you know, me, Daniel C., Anika, Kuzi, uh, Hope, and everybody had an amazing different story. And, like, how cool was that, right? But everyone had their hardships. Everyone come from their hardships. But that's what made them who they were. And yes. that's what made them who they are, sorry. And on that show, like, when I sat down, and, and like, I literally sat down with the crown, like, individually with everybody. And, like, ev- we all told each other's story. Like, cause like everyone got a story. Everyone, everyone got a sad story or a happy story. Like everyone got their challenges. That's life, right? Like nobody can sit. If you're sitting down self pity, like you, you know, you're not going to end up going anywhere. Yeah, we all have bad days. We got to wake up, shake it off, and keep moving forward. Because someone could be having a worse day, and they're moving forward. So you got to wake up and you got to keep pushing. You yeah, know what there's I mean? always someone that got it worse. Yeah, and and when I went on that show, and you know, yeah, it's a competition, and everyone's like, oh, you got to win number one, and you know, uh, you know, hundred grand, yeah, hundred grand, hundred grand is a lot of money. Yeah, of course I would like to win that. I mean, who, who wouldn't? But shit, man, when I went on that sto- uh, on that uh, show and I the crown got developed and I learned, got to know everybody, like, on yeah, a personal standpoint, I would, I would have fucking took a bullet for him, man. Like, I would have been like, the game kind of went out the window for me. Like, you know, I, I guess it's not fair to the game, but at the same time, I just the human in me came and I was like, man, these people in this alliance, like Daniel C, Anika, Kuzi. And my, my, my brother Hope and, and Rob too, when he was there, like, I think I, like I, I, right now to this day, I take a bullet for the man, you know what I mean? Yeah. But here's the thing though. I'm not saying anyone else is not like that, but you're, that's who you are. Exactly. And there's not a lot of people like yourself. Like you are Canada's favorite player for a reason. I I like to hope so. And I can respect that. Thank you. I appreciate that. But I am the same way as well. I know exactly what you mean because 
I'm not about cutting someone's throat. It's hard, right? Or, you know, you know going against someone, being sly. Uh, yeah. And it, unfortunately, that game is... That's what it is. Kind of what it's it is. It's kind of what it is. And, like, respect respect to the game. It, 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 you it know, is it is what it is. challenging, yeah. Like, you know, you know, in respect to all the winners and stuff. Past, oh, my God, yes. Players and yes. stuff like that, too. But, like, I just couldn't go... Like, it just goes back to the hum, who you are. We're all it's different. who you are. Yeah, it's, we're all it's different, it's right? It's so, we all work differently. It doesn't mean one's better than the other. No, God, no. You know? So, uh, you know, and... Uh, but uh, it's challenging to change yourself. So, it, you know, going back to life, like it's hard to try to be someone that you're not. Exactly. You know? So it shows. It shows, right? In a game, a game's a game, but like in life is life. And like in life, you deserve to be the best version of yourself. So yeah, 100%. Keep, keep working forward. But I got to say, the alliance that you guys formed was solid. Oh, it was deadly. And they're all solid people. Oh, my God. I, I mean, and that's the cool part about the whole, even the game in total. Like, my alliance was deadly. I, I'm very close with everybody in that alliance. But I'm also very close with a lot of other people in the game, yes. too, right? Yeah. Like, me and Shanae, I got close. And, you know, she, you know, I love her to that. And then Dan asked. And, like, there's people in the jury that I got to know that I Afterward, yeah. bonded with, right? So, yeah. now, of course, now, like, you know, you know, Hope's my doc. He's my bro. And, and, you know, <laughs> yeah. and me and me and Rob's relationship, I mean, like that guy's like a brother to me. He called me today and said, "I need help." I'm like, "Bro, I'm on a flight up, or you want me to get your ticket down?" You know, so those relationships last forever. Well, last forever, and you know, so I'm very appreciative of that. And you got a lot out of the show, regardless of the ooh, money, baby. Yeah, you know, so, yeah, yeah. I got a lot out of that show, man. It was crazy, cool, fun, hard, easy, explosive, boring. It made everything you can think of experience. Like it was just a roller coaster, man. And it was fun. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now yeah. that we're on the show topic. Yeah. Yeah. Dude. Okay. So I have so many questions. So many questions. Oh yeah. Bring them. But like, so <laughs> first of all, yeah. what made you get into it? Like, why did you apply? Yeah. Uh, well, okay. Um, okay. I start from the beginning. Yeah. Start from the beginning. Uh, um, well, years ago, like back when I was living with mom and dad, you know, growing up, my mom, she was a big fan of the original Big Brother. Well, not original. I mean, American Big Brother. Yeah. Uh, like season one, two, three, four. So I used to watch him with her. You know what I mean? I used to watch him with her. And so I was always familiar with the game. Um, and then when I met my wife, she was she's a really big fan of Big Brother. She loves the Big Brother. She watches every season. She She's like a diehard. So I always watched like some seasons with her, like when work permitted. Like usually I was gone or whatever. So I was new to game, and uh, my wife was like, "You got to try it. You got to, you know, send an audition. You got, you know, you should be on this." So, and then when my mom passed, I was like, "You know what? Like seeing how she, like, you know, the joy that she had, and like she took it like a champ, and, and uh, she, you know, I was just telling me before she passed, be yourself, mm. be the best, be yourself, and be happy." Yeah. So I was like, and then when she, like, one day I sat down on the couch after, you know, you know, a couple, few months after she passed away, and my wife was like, you know. I want to see you happy, like you know. And I was always like, I got to do something different. I yeah. got to do something different. So I sat down with my doc, and I, and and I was just chilling, and the sun was shining. I think it was like, I still remember I was drinking like a juice or something, and I was like, you know what, I got to try something different. So I opened up the Mac, and I was like, you know what, I'm sending an audition tape to Big Brother Canada, and I did it. And I think it was like two days later, I got an email back. Wow. And ever since I got opened that email, it felt like someone was on my shoulder. Like guiding me, someone's helping me to get yeah. there, and it felt special the entire way, the entire way, even to like the day I got evicted. Like I felt, it felt special. She you was know? with you. She was. I think my mom. I, you know, my mom was on my shoulder with the, with the whole way, right? And like That's amazing. My, my dad was proud, and you know, I made my family proud. I did something different. I stepped out of the norm and did something out of the ordinary, and uh, it changed my life. And I, I, I feel great. You know, I wake up in the morning now. I, I feel like yourself, like myself, like fulfilled, and like. I feel happy, you know, so, and I like to credit my mom and, you know, my wife and, and, wife, and yeah. my dad and stuff for that. And, you know, so yeah, that was like, I, it, when I woke up, I mean, after my mom passed, I knew that I needed to do something different and Big Brother Canada helped life me. is short. Life is short and Big Brother Canada was definitely a dream of mine and it was a dream come true. So it goes, goes to show you, like, take a chance, take Never a shot, know. never sit in, you know, and like, you're going to hear no a lot more than you hear yes. Yeah. So like, just keep going. Keep, keep trying to make that change in your life and it'll it'll come never give up it, m- it might not come the time you expect but like if you keep pushing it'll come right so and that's you know i guess to sum it up um it was always a dream of mine to be on television and big brother canada was always a dr- uh, dream of mine i was always a fan in the sense that my mom was a big yeah. fan my wife was a fan and it came i made it we made it happen so 
you know, yeah, that's that awesome. Led me to this change. <laughs> that's wicked, dude. I feel like you're on the right path now mm-hmm. for sure. Like, yeah. uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of things happening for you shit soon, guaranteed. I, you know, things are things are moving. Like, you know, I'm I'm not going to lie, man. I woke I wake up every morning now, and like, you know, I'm not saying like I'm popping off, but like I'm on the right track, right? Yeah. Uh, and you know, not trying to be. I'm just trying to be fulfilled myself. Yeah. You know, everything I do is trying to. F- and like all the love and support I get, it's just been unbelievable. Yeah. You know, so I'm, I really appreciate that. Right. Yeah. And like my family's happy. Like when I go home now, it's like, it's all love. Keeps pushing you more. It keeps pushing, right? My son is so supportive. My wife, she, you, you couldn't find anyone more supportive. So like, I'm very happy right now in life. That's and just awesome. In general. And yeah. I, you I can th- see it. And I think, I think that's worth, I think that's worth something. Like when you're, when you can sit down in the morning or in the evening or in the nighttime and be like, fuck, I feel, I feel good. Life is oh, good. dude. Yeah. There's nothing, but that's, that's. That's your wealthy man. That's the wealth. That's like, the wealth. That I, happy, I, I, right? I feel happy because, like, because like, what happens in life that makes you unhappy? And I'm not saying every day is like that. Because, like, no, it's, like of course. you said, every day, life. more days are bad than good. But like, the good days do come. You can't forget that. No. Yeah, a bad day might be a bad day today. Tomorrow might be a bad day. Next day, but that fucking good day comes, man. And when you sit down and you feel that feeling of gratitude, fulfillment, fulfillment, and like gratitude and like you, you know, an appreciation, you're just like. Fuck, this life is, is good. This is life. Yeah, this is living. You know, this is living. So like, you just want to share it. Like me, I want to share it. I want to be fucking. Who, who am I gonna phone? Who am I gonna call? Who am I gonna text? Or, yeah. You know why? Fuck that text. I'm gonna go see him. Yeah, I'm yeah. happy. I want to share this fucking feeling with. Yeah, them, you want right? to spread the wealth. You yeah. want to take someone under your wing and bring them up on your level. Yeah, like, you know? yeah. And it might even it might be for twenty minutes. It might be for a day. I might wake up tomorrow and be like, fuck, shit, man, life is tough. But yeah, life is tough. It might be tough for next week. It might be t- tough for next month. But fuck that day is gonna come. Where I'm gonna wake up. Like for example, when you go, you go offshore, you go to Alberta, or you do a turnaround work, something that we're very familiar with, is like when, you know you're on your way to the rig. You're like, nah, shit, man, I got like three weeks ahead of me now. Nah, bah. But then you you're on your way home. You're on your way home to your family. You're on your way home to whatever it is that like makes you, you happy. Lottery. You're like, dude, I'm fucking rich. Not only financially, you're okay. I'm, this fucking feeling is like I feel rich right that's now. That's the rich feeling. You know, that's that feeling is people are like oh yeah I gotta go do what I gotta do for money and money and money and money. But yeah, the money yeah the money keeps you alive, keeps you fed and stuff. You need it. But that feeling when you're on your way home to what you love, that shit right there is worth the, the trip. You know what I'm saying? Yes, like, you know? dude. So uh, like it, it, you know appreciation to all my brothers and sisters working in the oil and gas and uh, but like and, and remember when you're on your way out or in or whatever to to your turnaround. It ends better days are and coming. that feeling is worth it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you know, you go home with your kids and then they're happy playing with your toys or whatever it is that makes you happy. That comes. You know what yes, I'm saying? Yes, man. For me now, I'm pretty much happy every day. Honestly, I'm in a really good place right now in my life. But mm. um, you know, I come to work and when I pick up Chloe, I actually absolutely love just going home and just chilling with her. Oh yeah. Playing, watching TV with her cuddling hogging like it's just like my evenings are are sick like it's so funny because before you had a kid you had all this time but you didn't realize and then it's like when you had a kid you're like jesus man i didn't realize how much time i had (laughs) (laughs) Mm -hmm. and but now it's like you you adjust and and it's like i don't know like there's no better feeling oh man bro like and then like I imagine like when you go home and like she's home or something and like daddy's home. Oh like, man. And every time, every time. Yes. It's the best. It's the best. It's I get sick. that with my dog now. He's yes. like jumping. They get four legs or I got a glass door when you walk in my house and it's like the four legs are like beating off the glass door. I'm like, Oh God, I can't wait to get in and see you too, buddy. Yeah. Man. <laughs> it's a good feeling. Big hug when I get in that door, my man. Yes, dude. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I gotta say, like, I gotta ask how challenging was it to actually, get accepted to the show and know that you're going to be leaving your family for three months. Probably because that for me, like, Mm -hmm. again, we had this conversation already, but I get like, I don't think you'd probably do it if, if your son was three, like for me right now, I I physically, I just wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah. But I think like 13. Yeah. Daddy go. I'll watch it. Like, you know? Yeah. 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 It was definitely a conversation with my son. Um, I mean, I sat down with, Obviously, Stephanie. She was yes, so supportive. of course. Yes. So I sat Liam down, I told him what the situation was, and he was like, "Yeah, Dad, do it, do it, do it, do it." Like you know, you know, I'm, you know, he was my biggest fan. But like, it, it, I'm not going to lie to you. It was oh. probably. I remember sat in the flamingo room, and um, uh, I was sat there, and I was like, "Man, I was like, this is brutal." Because like the one thing I wanted most was like that phone call, just to check in. Hey, yeah. how are you? But like three months of not no contact was really hard. But at the same time, what gave me comfort and gave me the ability to do it was like the, 
was like the production. Like I knew the person uh, handling my me, I guess, uh, was in full contact with my wife. Yes, and that's like good, she, yeah. she was absolutely wonderful. Like uh, knowing the people that were looking after us gave me a sense of comfort. I knew if anything went wrong, been, anything yeah. was sideways, I would have been notified immediately. But like, yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, there's times like when things got hard in the house, like obviously they did. I mean, you watch the oh, man. things got dramatic. Yeah. That, <laughs> that's when you're like, fuck, I really want to phone my, my loved ones. You know, I really want to phone just to hear their voice, you know, my son, whatever. That made it extremely challenging. But this this is what saved me in the house. This is what saved me in the game from, from, the, from the, 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 in the manner to the jury was the relationships I made. I know that, well, first time I got in there up until Rob got evicted was Rob. Like every single time I was feeling a little, little bit negative about something, I knew I felt comfort just hanging with them. That's why I mean, like in the show, people become family. And then, like when Rob got evicted, as close as we were, I thought my game was over. I was like, man, I don't care if I go home next week. My brother just walked out that door. Then me and Hope got close. Me and Hope built this relationship. I was like, fuck, man. You know, I, you, I, I don't ever want to see this guy get evicted. You know what I mean? I don't ever see one. And you know, this is my brother. And you know, every day we're just hanging out with each other. Yeah, we game and we do this and do that, but we always ended up with each other. So, and then, like, if I ever had something wrong, I was feeling down, I knew I could talk to Koozie. I'd be like, Koozie, like, what do you think of this? Like, I'm feeling a little, fuck, I, I lost at HOH. I really beat myself up. She's like, don't worry, Johnny. Like, you're doing good. Like, you know, keep going. Like, you know, we got you. Like, you know. They helped you so, through it. Yeah. So, like, you know, as bad as that game can be in a sense that, like, it's cutthroat, like, you're lying, whatever, it can also be very enlightening in a sense that you know you can – People can be good, yeah. you know, and people can literally have your best interests at heart. Yeah. Because I knew that the people I trusted in that game had my had my back. Yeah. And like Anika, I knew I could trust her with my life in that game, bro. Like I could tell her anything, and I knew she had my back. Daniel C, man, like I'm, the guy was just a pure joy to be around. He was like, he, you know, he's 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 laugh like when he gets you laughing, or you just you wouldn't even have to be directly talking to him. You just be in a room with him, and he somehow lighten your energy you know yeah what I, mean? I can, like, I can he, see that very, from watching the show yeah man. and he was very special in that regard and like i i, I mean even though i wasn't in alliance with the girls like i, I had a relationship with them like renee i mean i, I mean I, I slept next to renee and shanae and me, me in my bed and like every night i knew that i could lie down and i knew we were going to have some fun before we went to sleep like just laughing joking yeah like they were my sisters you know what i mean and yeah. claudia i knew she had my back we didn't even necessarily game together but like i knew that she go they were just solid. Me. Yeah, they were solid people. Like, yeah, the game was the game, and you had to evict people to win, and all this, this, that, and the other thing. But like, uh, honestly, like, um, there's a lot of good in there too. Like, the friendships you made is yeah, what helped you get yeah. through it. it. You know, and it goes to show, like, life. Like, there's a lot of there's good and there's bad. You know, to everything. Yes. So, like, but like, I, I like to look back and see the good. You know. Yeah. So yeah. So I guess going off that topic, you must have been so talking about the feeling that you had after a three week rotation. <laughs> The, the moment that you laid eyes on your son and your wife <laughs> after that Whoa, you dude. must have there's probably like dude. there's probably not many feelings that you've experienced that yeah. felt like that hey oh my god like oh, oh i'll start off my wife like okay. right i was I, I i was on i was on stage and when i got off stage like usually you go around and mingle you got a certain period of time to go around and mingle with people right the alumni and like production and yeah stuff. i'd seen my wife and i was like Bing. that's all i seen yeah i was like i don't know who else is in the room no i just see her and then, and then when we were allowed to go talk to them, first time I seen oh her in three months, God. I just, I did, I had my hands on her shoulders and she was the only one I seen in the room, bro. I was just like, like hi, like, how's my son? Yes. How's family? Like, she's talking. And was to, Liam there? No, he wasn't. Oh, he wasn't. Okay, he, had okay. a, he had a basketball thing. Her friend Shala was, which I'd love to see her too. I seen her first actually. I was like, is that Shala? But yeah. But uh, when I seen her, I was like, she was like talking about game, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, no, 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 no. 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 How are you? How's your dad? How's your mom? Yeah. How's, how's your brother's sister? How's my brother's? Yeah. Like, you know, I was just like, I love you. I, love, I, I can't wait to see like, blah, yes. blah, blah, You know what I mean? And, yeah. and then after about a week, we're spending time with each other in Toronto. We came home and uh, I seen my, like, my family in the airport. They had signs and stuff. My nieces and oh, yes, my brothers. Oh, yes, yes. I remember seeing it on my Facebook. My sisters-in-laws. And my son gave me this hug that was... Oh, dude. Dude, it was like... if Never it, had a hug like it before. It was like you met Superman. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I was just like... I'm I'm just got, I'm just little boy superhero. You're his hero. Yeah, it, it, you know that feeling was 
remarkable. Was, I can only imagine. Yeah, it. it was incredible. So, like, like I said, man, if I could bottle it and sell it, I'd be rich. Oh yeah. You know, but to be honest with you, I'd probably give it away because yes. like, people deserve this. Share right? it, right? Yeah. So, but man, is it, it was unreal. Like, the, you know, I'm very blessed with the whole experience. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hi. Hey. Pizza. Oh, it's out <laughs> in the truck. Go out in the truck and get it, sir. <laughs> hey, Hillary. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption there. I need to get a lock for this door. <laughs> <laughs> no girls allowed. Ah. Uh, yeah, you're very blessed. <laughs> yeah, no, man, it's, it's, it's been great. It's been crazy. And, like, man, the, I think the coolest part of the whole thing was meeting people. I remember the first person to come up and ask me for a picture and an autograph was a kid. It was a kid. Absolutely. A kid, man. It was like he met a hero. I was like... And he's like, you're Jonathan Leonard from Big Brother, Canada, right? Uh, sure I was like, I am. I am, buddy. I am, yeah. He's like, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. And his mom's like, you mind getting a picture with my son? I was like, absolutely. I love that. And like, it was like he met his hero. He was so nervous. I was like, that right there is literally worth the trip. You oh, know what I mean? dude. Yes, I, I like, can only imagine. so cool, man. And I was like, yeah. And But like, I'm not going to lie to you, bro. I, since the show, it's been challenging in a way that like, you just, you're trying to get your feet back and like trying to you know, sometimes you can go down dark roads and sometimes, you, but you got to remember that, you know, you are who you are. Right. So, because like when I got off the show, I was like, when I won Canada's favorite, I was like, man, I, I really hope I put a lot of pressure on myself. I was like, I really hope the people that meet me and who, who were supported me, I am what they want me to be. I am who they thought they, who I am, right? who they thought you were. Yeah. yeah. Who they voted for. And I, and, you know, I put a lot of pressure on myself, I beat myself up a lot. Yeah. But then again, you don't need to do that because you're, you're just true to yourself. You're yeah. always, you're always being who you are. Yeah, exactly. You know? Right. And, and, you know, that was a challenge. Yeah. And, 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 and it was it was, uh, it still is a, to a point, but I, you know, I think I'm getting there. Um, I just don't want to, you know, and what it would sound corny or whatever. I just don't want to disappoint anybody, you know? Yeah. So, no, but, I don't but, think you will. Uh, but you know, you do care a lot about yourself and everyone around you, and that's why you have that pressure. But mm -hmm. you just continue doing you and being yourself, exactly. and you won't have nothing to worry about. Exactly right. So, and that's the kind of what I'm doing now. And like I'm at the point now where, and it's funny people come up to me like, oh, "I bet you're sick of talking about this, or I bet you're sick of getting pictures." We're only gonna start I'm, I'm not. I'm like, listen, you, you can call your mom, call your aunt, your uncle, whoever. Tell yeah. them to come on down. I'll say hello. We'll have a conversation. <laughs> we get pictures. Like, listen, if you're gonna take the time to vote for me or support me or watch me on that show, I got the time to talk to you. Absolutely. So, like, you know, it, it's it's been crazy and here we are talking about it on a microphone and headset i mean how cool is that it's right? it's, it's fucking awesome dude. it's fucking i love this shit <laughs> yeah, I love this i'm shit. like high right now yeah right, i me too. love I'm sitting down having a conversation balls. and it's cool man and, and like um it's is is a is a fun experience like like you know just summing up like on that i was like if anyone is wanting to make a change or go for something that sounds out of the ordinary unreachable like the show big brother canada do it just don't, you know what I mean? You never know. You never, you might not hear nothing back right away. You might not hear nothing back this year, but don't give up. Keep going, keep pushing and just keep trying. You know what I mean? Like just keep trying. I swear to God, you'll sleep better just for trying. Yeah. You know what I mean? Who cares about the result? You get no, I got no, I got no a million times in my life and I'll get no a million times more, but fuck, I'm not going to wake up. I'm going to keep trying. You got I, to, you know, so just, just do it. Just do it. People ask me all the time, like, cause auditions opened up for season 12 you know, any, any advice or like, you know, anything I should do to do, do, do yourself, you know, set the video camera up, uh, take a swig of water, be the best version of yourself and just do that. Do that to the fullest. Be don't, authentic. Don't be authentic. Don't try to be something you think they want because no, you'll never get be on your it. true authentic because self. It will show be your authentic self. Cause that's what they want. They want can't the energy. Fake. They want that energy. They want your energy, not a specific energy. They want your energy. So yeah. just, you don't, know, Keep, be the best version of yourself. Send that audition tape in. And if you get a no, who cares? Try again next year. Yep. Maybe not this year was your year. Next year might be. So keep going. You know what I'm saying? Yep. So just keep doing it. And it's funny because all those little failures, are, they're not even failures. They're lessons. But they're lessons. it all yeah. leads to something better down the road. Oh, absolutely, man. Everything happens for a reason, right? Like, man, I, phew, I've tried to, I've tried for so many. In my life, I've tried to make changes so many times. And not necessarily changes that I necessarily wanted. It was just like my way of making a change. And I got no, or you're not what we're looking for. 
or like you know i tried to get into enforcement and didn't couldn't get in there and like because for some little wasn't reason, meant to be wasn't meant to be and i'm like looking back like man i'm, I'm kind of happy that didn't happen because you probably wouldn't have uh, yeah and you know my because my you know i'm just like maybe that wouldn't for me and you know so life got a funny way of working sometimes working itself out yeah. working itself out right so like you got to take the good with the bad and the bad with the good it's everything is perspective perspective bro and so how you look at something will determine your your feeling yeah and yeah. Uh, uh, same with gratitude. If you're grateful for something that you don't already have, you mm-hmm. can literally like attract it into your mm-hmm. life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you but know? think of how many people are unhappy because they don't know how to appreciate. I know. You know what I mean? It's because, well, it's just the world we live in, but just the fact that you woke up and put your two feet on the floor, mm-hmm. I mean, everyone takes that for granted. Exactly. Including bro. us. Exactly. But bro. when you say it, it's like, fuck. Like, I woke up today. Yeah. I, I could have died in my sleep. What? And, yeah. you know, you've got another another chance today Mm -hmm. yeah my sleep ended and i woke up and i'm alive yeah but as silly as that is like you you should be grateful for that and you know you got two legs and a heartbeat (laughs) and so when you have feelings of gratitude and happiness like you attract more of it Mm -hmm. you attract what Mm -hmm. you feel Mm -hmm. so energy energy it's like vibrations right energy buddy and like you know manifestation like you know manifestation it's it's a real thing it is oh absolutely couldn't agree more with you bro good attracts good and bad attracts bad yeah man and that's why you gotta keep that good around you and keep that keep that positive energy no matter how hard it is like like like-minded people like-minded people and like shit man life does get hard you know yourself like we know we're we're, you know we're grown men and life gets hard it isn't easy we all got our battles but we all fight for the reasons we see worth fighting for like you know whether it be your family whether it be your career whether it be you know something you want a car a truck a motorcycle a house whatever it is you get up in the morning and you fucking keep working for it you know and that's the juice of life because like you're not going to get to a point in life where you're like shit like i got it all I'm, yeah i know everything yeah everything in this world i know it no yeah. yeah. shit man you're gonna challenge yourself challenge yourself you know get out there and then when you uh, had a win or lose you're like shit that just happened yeah. boom i just lived you yeah. know so yeah you know it's, it's all part it's all perspective Going back it's to all perspective. It's perspective so perspective, right? your thoughts are really what determines your feelings and mm. so it's really important what you can uh, keep an eye on what you consume so mm. You know what you watch on YouTube, what you listen to, what you what you watch on TV, all that yeah. stuff uh, plays a role on your thoughts, which plays a role yeah. on your feeling, and then that plays a role on your life. Yeah, yeah. So it's really important to you know read good books, watch good shows, informative podcasts, whatever, and also you're you're also the average of of like the five people you hang around with. Oh yeah. So it's it's very important. All that stuff is very important if you want to go mm-hmm. somewhere in life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like I hang out with my dog. And I'm a dog. Exactly, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I'm we part dog. Do- we just some dogs, right? We were hustling. But uh, yeah, no, uh, it, no, it's true, man. And like, like you said, man, I like that what you just said, like perspective, because like. We live in a world now social media based. Yep. Everything's on your phone. You're looking, you're looking, you're always looking at someone else. You're always looking at something. You're always looking at something, something being sold, market, marketing, marketing, or people, people, people living, living, living. But you can either look at that in a few different perspectives. You can look at it, be like, okay, shit, man, here I am sat on the couch. I'm my couch right now, and this person's over in this part of the world on a beach living life with this, this, and this, got cars, whatever. Or, you can look at it and be like, be like, oh man, that's cool. He's doing that. That's really cool. You know what? I might want to do that. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah. That's so cool. He just motivated me to do that. Yeah. Or she just motivated me. Different to perspective. Do that. Different perspective. Or you can sit down and beat yourself up that you're not doing it. Or Jealous. You do, or you don't have yeah. or whatever. And you can beat yourself up for no reason. You know what I mean? Because like you are the master of your You're in domain. control. You're, you're in control of your mind. mindset, right? And like, yeah, we all get down on ourselves and like, you know, about this, that, and the other thing. That's going to happen. Just remember that, like, it's your life. No one else's. Just, you know, just because you're not doing what that person's doing doesn't mean you less. You know what I mean? And just because you you might be sitting on a couch in your house and that person over there don't have a house, but they're traveling the world. Like, everybody's different. So you can't really beat yourself up for di- people living different lives. And what you see on social media is mm. what you see on social media. It's exactly. not necessarily their actual life because no, for exactly. the most part, it's their, the highlights of their life. Exactly. Bro. For 90% of people. Exactly, and that's bro. just the way it is. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, don't worry about it. Yeah. All yeah. you can do is look, use it as motivation mm. and get yourself, get your ass up off the couch and do something about it to go, you know, whatever it is you like, you, you, can, yeah. you can do this. Yeah, yeah, I know for sure. You man. just have to believe in yourself. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for sure. Absolutely. Belief is, is powerful. If oh. you don't believe you can do something, 
yeah. you're not going to do it. No, you're not going to do it, man. And you got to believe in yourself. And listen, man, every, you know, you got to believe in yourself. Yeah. If everyone else don't, which most yeah, times the way it is, yeah, cause like, don't matter. Because like a lot of people around you, uh, you know, other than the people that really fuck with you, you know what I mean? Yeah. Other, other than the people that really got your back, which are very slim. Yes. You know what I mean? You got to keep them close. Everyone's going to do the doubting for you. Yeah. So it's up to you to believe in you because like, you know, if you got, if you're lucky enough to have one person in your life that believes in you, you're fucking golden yeah. because like a lot of people that have successful people that have really made it in this world and like done different things and took chances and made it fucking happen. They believed in themselves and that was it. Yeah. They did. Everyone else doubted them, told them they couldn't and shouldn't and it was stupid, not going to work. And they showed them. And then, you know what I mean? So you really got to believe in yourself. It's just, it's, 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 it's one-on-one simple as that. You got to wake up in the morning and say, oh, I can fucking do that. Yeah. You know, I don't care if he or she or, or they or, or my friends that hang out with me every day tell me I can't or I'm stupid or laugh at me. I'm fucking doing it. You know what I'm saying? Get out of my way. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like you're, you're doubting me is motivating me more. So thank you. Yeah. You know what I'm Don't so, let the naysayers dictate your life. No, let them motivate you. Yeah. Take, take that and use it as fuel. For, put rhyme. that in the tank. You pump that shit in for free, not a dollar fifty a liter. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> yeah. that, that's, that dough is my fuel. Let's go. Yes, right. Man. So, yeah. you know, let's talk about your relationship with, um, Rob and the Hope. Rob and Hope. Oh, jeez, I love this topic. It's one of my favorite ah, topics. I figured that. Yeah, yeah. No, bro. Like, okay, I start out. I start off with Rob. Uh, you know, because we bought it first and foremost. And and, and and you know, shout out to Rob too for, uh, he he. You know, first when we got in the house, uh, me and Hope weren't that close. You yeah. know what I mean? So, but we were both close with Rob. Um, so Rob kind of, you know, it's not even kind of. He did. He bridged that relationship for me and Rob. I mean, me and Hope. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, and me and, like I said, me and Rob were so close in the house. We were buds. We still are close to this day. I mean, I talk to the guy every day. You know what I'm saying? We're like, we are legitimately like brothers. Yeah. And we support each other. We always send each other, each other positive stuff. And, you know, we both got our goals and we support each other. And, uh, but uh, before we left that house, he really set the groundwork for me and Hope's relationship. And after Rob left, me and Hope built a relationship way better than I ever possibly could have imagined. Like, uh, Hope is also another brother of mine. And I am so thankful for that, that, that young man who, might I say, has potential up the yin-yang. That guy's energy and, like, he's, his infectious energy and, like, his, his pure heart. Like, he, the dude, the sky's the limit for the dude. Like, you know what I mean? I'm so excited to watch him just flourish in life. And uh, so, like, those two guys are very, like, on a game, the game aside like, and in the life, they're very important to me. And they're, they're two friendships that I hold near and dear to my heart. And, um, and you know yourself, like when you got a, you know, you got a good friend or a brother or someone you care about, you, you're, you're willing to live, you know, take a bullet for them. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's really close with the guys. They both seem like very solid people. Oh dude, they're, they're every bit of what you see. The whole thing was crazy, but like the uh, one thing is that I hold on to forever from the whole experience is relationships I built and with Rob. And I mean, I just, I went to Toronto for my family vacation and I mean, I couldn't wait to get up and just see the guys, you know? That's one crappy part about living in a different province is I just don't get to kick it with them, you know? That's right. Yeah, yeah. It would have been but, awesome if you were from, from You know, I'm place. just going to shout out that maybe one day, hopefully, maybe Rob and Hope will make an appearance on the Johnny Show. Just oh, gonna, absolutely. Listen, just manifest it, that. Oh, I'm putting it out there right now. <laughs> Who listen, knows? Listen, Rob and Hope. Yeah. You're going to watch on this. The Johnny Show. I'm there. inviting you on the show. Yeah. You're and welcome, I'll have John welcome. here too if it makes you more comfortable. Yeah. You know, who knows? <laughs> Maybe I'll co host with my guy, Johnny. You know, yeah. Like I said, what's better than one Johnny? Two Johnny Johnnies. Squared. Johnny Square. <laughs> yeah. Um, are they planning on coming down? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And um, well, Rob is, uh, we're still trying to work out the dates for him, getting him down here. And uh, Hope, Hope is just so, he, he, he's uh, trying to work out now, maybe over the winter. Uh, him and Daniel C will get down, and because uh, Daniel C is planning on coming down too, and another one of my brothers who I think so much over, like he's so dear. The the guy is amazing, uh, but yeah. So I know him. I know Rob's definitely coming down. Daniel C is definitely coming down, and so is Hope. It's just a matter of when. And listen, hey, the doors open for everybody. Whoever wants to get down here, I'll roll out the red carpet. Hundred percent, <laughs> dude. Uh, have any of them been here before? Uh, I don't think so, actually. So they're coming um, for you. I don't even think Claudia has been here, uh, to be honest. And, um, yeah, like I said, more than welcome to come down. The Rock is a special place. It's, well, hey, it's my home. Uh, and, like, there's no place like Newfoundland. No, uh, man. Like, and no as place. much as I love, I love our country, I love the world. And uh, just, I love the States, too. I got a lot of friends in the States. But 
uh, Newfoundland, bro. Like, it's come there's on. Nothing, there's there's nothing no place like, like it. Here. Bro, like I said, hey, bye. You know what I mean? Like, you know, there's nothing like <laughs> hey, it. Hey, bye. Like, I, I went down to George Street Fest this year. Just I had a thing going with George Street, so I went down there for country night and all this stuff. And, bro, like, I got to meet people. Well, eight or fans of the show just coming up to me, and I was like, "Man, this is what like this is what it's I fucking all about. love my people." Newfoundland, Newfoundland is bro. one like, of the most know. nicest places, man, bro. And like, it, it's been so much love and like energy, yeah. energy, the energy of Newfoundland. Like, it's just like positive. It's just like yeah. open door energy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Come on in, man. Have a beer. Let's yes. have a laugh. You want yes. some food? You hungry? Come you don't have, have a yarn, but have a yarn, but like have a laugh. What's wrong with you? You want know what I mean? So, want a beer? Like, it's just been crazy. And like uh, another part of the show coming out the show has been the alumni uh, from past seasons, like you know Tina, um, you know Pikey, Adam Pike, he's fantastic. And, you know, party! Oh my God, I love party! I got to have uh, I sat down with dinner or supper or party. That guy's and no wonder he was on the show in one. He, oh, he's dude. A, and laugh! Oh my God! Oh, dude, so I, I don't know the guy. Mm. Um, my my wife Hillary actually said that she knows him from. I think they're she, from like yeah. Clarenville. Yes, yeah, she's from Animal. He's from yeah. Clarenville. Yeah, yeah so. Yeah. Um, I'd love to get him on too. I feel like that would be a good, good. Uh, get him on, bro. Good he, life, yeah. And I, I swear you'll be entertained. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah, no doubt. He so seems much. like he's wild. Oh, he's and he, but he's a good guy. Oh yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. And like you got Allison, and I haven't had a chance to catch up with Sam Pico yet, but uh, I'm really looking forward to you know having a conversation with her and just, and like uh, just you know meeting everybody. And like Will, I met I met Will Kenny. Uh, fantastic dude, man. He's 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 a fun guy. Um, really looking forward to just hashing it with him over uh, some food or something sometime. But like everybody I've met so far, alumni based has been nothing but supportive, uh, positive, uh, and just like go get them. And like I, you know, I'm not going into detail. I got to sit down with like uh, Pikey and uh, uh, Adam Pike, just to be clear, and uh, John Party. And uh, they gave me some good advice, you know. Uh, For a post show. Uh, yeah, post show. And like, I won't go into too much detail on what that was. It was a good conversation. And like, uh, just want to shout out to the boys. Like, thank you. Like, the, you know what I mean? You guys give me some amazing advice. And um, it goes deeper than just laughs and fun. It really did help. And it, it is helping. So uh, thank you for that. And Allison also, she's been so supportive since the show. Uh, so thank you to her as well. Um, but yeah, and, and Tina too, man. She's been uh, my. She, I I love Tina, bro. She's she's a good, you know. You got to get her on. Too, you got, man. yeah, I, a, man. Listen, oh, hey, yeah, yeah. I I pretty much I wouldn't say no to anyone. Yeah, yeah. So I love uh, having conversations with different kinds of people, oh, different cultures, different experiences. Oh, absolutely. What kind of knowledge do you have exactly. that I don't know that you don't know? What kind of tips do you have for me? Yeah. And what can I teach you? What can I give to you? Exactly. Share it. Let's, Open minded. Let's, let's share it. Yeah. Right? Open mind. And and like it goes back to us. You don't know everything. You know what I Never mean? Do. If you think you know everything, you, you, you don't know enough. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're not willing to learn. You're 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 stuck. Stuck in your you're ways. Stuck in your ways. Like is that the way you want to be? No. And that, that's the beautiful thing about this. I had no idea how the Big Brother community was. Like it, I, I kind of was a fan of the show. Yeah, sure. But like being part of the community is so supportive, bro. Like yeah. you got even like like all the alumni from around Canada and the world like has been so incredibly supportive like and and anytime I've ever reached out to anybody they were there boom like five minutes boom like you know, yeah, that's awesome yeah like it's it's been incredible so like I'm very thankful for that and like all the alumni have but uh, yeah you know staying in Newfoundland base but like uh, yeah the, the people have really been there for me and like you know. I, I know I, I hear from Poiki almost every other day. Yeah. Parody's busy with his poker and stuff, but like if I ever reached out to him, he's, he he messaged me back. We can. Uh, Tina's there. Like whenever I need anything, and like you you know you, you'll meet these people supportive. and you'll understand why I'm talking so highly of them. Oh, They're 100%. very supportive, right? So like it, it's been incredible. On That's top awesome. Of yeah. So another thing I was going to ask you was, um, since the show, how many, I guess, collaborations or sponsorships have you been dealing with? And how are you finding it? Uh, well, it's definitely a learning experience, bro. I mean, uh, I've been blessed for a lot of, uh, a lot of. Uh, I mean, I got I got a few things going on now. Where I'm I'm playing catch up, but like, is uh, it's been busy. It's been busy, bro. Uh, the collabs and stuff like that, and I'm I'm learning as I go because I'm trying to build my brand, right? Like, I really want to build my brand, not so much in the sense of like of, uh, I'm an influencer or such, but like. Just trying to really cement myself in, um, I guess, the entertainment world. Yeah. So, uh, but I'm really trying to do it the right way. I'm trying to, I'm, and I'm learning as I go. There's going to be a lot of hiccups. There's going to be a lot of speed bumps. I'm going to fall down. I'm going to have to get back up again. 
but I'm going to sure as shit do it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So, uh, and like I said, I got a lot of support, right? So like, I, like I got, I can get good, good advice from good people. Like, you know, you know, you got like all the alumni here and even people not even, uh, in the big brother world have been helping me, uh, learn as I go. So I've been, I've been blessed in the sense where I've met good people with knowledge and I've been, Opportunity seems to be knocking on my door. Now I'm waiting and tomorrow. I don't know, but like it seems to knock on my door quite a bit lately. It's lately, um, and so uh, I'm I'm gonna like I said, man. You get an opportunity is you can either let it go and talk about how you missed it, or run you can it. grab it, throw it on your back, and fucking run with it. So that's exactly what I'm intending to do. Is like whenever an opportunity bangs on my door, if I'm lucky enough to get an opportunity to bang on my door, I'm sure it's opening that door and just grabbing it and let's go. Right? Unless. Mm-hmm. It's a butter company trying to trying yeah. to get you to butter toast. Yeah, I'm not. No, no. Yeah, it's like this butter on my toast. Oh my uh, god! Uh, all the same though, if any butter companies out there want to mix it up. Oh know. my god! No, no. I just had to throw that in there because we we had sushi yesterday for lunch yeah, just to catch up, lunch. and and he, he mentioned we were talking about it, and he's like. You know, talking about butter and toast, like sponsoring yeah. butter, and I just yeah. thought it was just hilarious. So. Yeah, it's like uh, I was like, I don't, I don't want to be taking videos of myself in the morning, like you know, before my coffee. Like, yeah, I got to butter this toast. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was so funny. Yeah, that was funny, man. But it's like, yeah, hey, if you want me to sponsor your butter, I will sponsor butter. But I do <laughs> love butter. I do love butter. Homemade bread. Promote oh, your butter. Yeah. Come on, give me some of Nan's homemade bread, and I'll butter that up. Bit of mayo. <laughs> butter that bread. Butter that bread. Bit of old molasses on there. <laughs> <laughs> Your jam, jam, Your jam, jam. Do some tout cup of tea, cup of tea. Yeah. but yeah, that's the Newfoundland man. That's the culture. But uh, yeah, no, bro, it's it's a learning, and then you know, it's 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 fun. Like you know yourself, like you've been in this road, like yeah, you a- you've been involved now in in I guess the social media part of it now since since 2016 20, yeah 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 that's when you know? it started yeah yeah so like you're me is kind of like a new thing for me. I've kind of like I didn't my Instagram and stuff. It's just I my wife opened it up while I was in the house. Like it's brand new. Like, full-time you know, job. And it's a full-time job, bro. And like, you know, I get a lot of messages from people and fans and stuff like that too. And the way I am, I want to, I want to talk to everybody. I want to, I want to say hello and thank you. And like, you know, I want to, uh, but like it, it's so busy. You just can't like get back to everybody. Yeah. So a lot of DMS, a lot of DMS and such, such. And like, sometimes there's opportunity, sometimes is is not. And like, you just got to be very, uh, cautious of how you handle things, right? Mm. So, and that's kind of what I'm trying to do right now is uh, trying to get my, you know, feet cemented in a sense that I, I'm on tr- my track yeah. to go in the direction I want to go. Yeah, right. Which I'm kind of I'm doing. I'm I'm very happy and pleased with where, the way things are going. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, how has it been <laughs> since the show when it comes to uh, walking down the street somewhere or going into a restaurant when it comes to people noticing you or or wanting to get a picture or you know like uh, how has that uh, been? Man, uh, well I'll go back to the very first day of being back in the outside. Uh, I yeah. was walking down Toronto and I was like, man, I'm gonna get a lot of love and you know the East Coast and stuff. I can't wait to get home. Yeah, but like, dude, I walked down the, 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 the street in Toronto, and uh, man, so much love. Uh, you know, as, as I'm definitely more recognizable. Some people meet me, and it's like, you know, I get the sense if I met, uh, I, see, like I don't an know, actor. yeah, like someone I, you know, someone famous, someone like. like you know, I won't say LeBron because I'd probably just cry if I met LeBron. <laughs> that's, that's my guy right there, but. Uh, you might yet. Yeah, you never know. Never I mean, say never. I have a dream come true for sure. You can do it. But now, nah, man, and, and and like when people meet me and they're fans of the show or fans of mine or whatever, um, I'm excited to meet them. Like I'm, 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 yeah, I'm, you I'm so excited. Yeah, it lights me up. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, sure. Like I think I must have took uh, that first day I was out. I must have took like f- between 15 and 20 pictures of people and autographs and stuff. Like I'm that just, makes I'm just you feel good, hey? Like, and, 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 and like. You know, a friend of mine was like, "Man, are you getting tired of that?" Like, you're just. I'm like, "Nope." I'm no, like, dude, man. I will stand up and they can. I will say, I won't only just get a picture with them. I'd like to talk to them. Yeah. Hey, what you? What was your favorite part? Why did you like the show? You know, and what was? What was? Are you a fan of the show, like in general, or like you know what I mean? I just love Have to talk conversation to people. Like, I love it. I, it's, it's entertaining. I get to hear everybody. Stand, everybody got a different perspective. Everyone got a different uh, mindset of how things should have went. So I'm just like, man, this is super cool. And in and it, but like my favorite is kids. Is it meeting oh, the kids? Dude. And it sounds corny, man. But when when kid meets you and you're a fan of you from like when you're on TV or whatever. 
is next level. You're just like, uh, right now they're meeting someone that they kind of look, look, up, to. look up to or whatever. That's, and he, I'm you are uh, there LeBron. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, you know what, man, this right here is what it's all about. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's so cool. And my son thinks it's cool. It's, it's overall a blessing, bro. Like, you know, and I have yet to meet, I'm not saying I won't, but like I've yet to meet a fan or someone that was a fan of the show that I didn't like meeting. And, like, I've had people come up to me and tell me the most obnoxious things. And I'm just like, wow, that's a good perspective. Crazy, but yeah. a good perspective. You know what I mean? So, like, it's just fun, man. And, like, honestly, uh, the Big Brother community, the Big Brother in general community, is, is it's so intense and they're so, like, involved and so passionate about the game and show. And it's so cool to see. Like, it's so cool. Like, Twitter and all this stuff. Like, people get into the game part of it and are support the show. And it's so cool. Like, it's such such a cool part of the, the whole experience. Yeah, I can see you're on cloud nine. Yeah. No, it's, it's fun, man. It's fun. It's a blast. And like I said, it's... Uh, yeah, I'm definitely taking... Every, like I said, if it ended tomorrow, I'll... When I wake up tomorrow, I'll look back and say, okay, I appreciate it every second of that. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're, running, you're currently running with it. I'm running with it. Running with it. Let's go. Full 100%. steam ahead. Yeah, I'm on, a, I'm a train, man. I'm on the track right now. And it's full steam ahead, right? That's so, awesome. Let's go. So getting back to manifesting and visualizing, um, how would you like to see your next few years go? What, what is it you're after here now? Exactly. What, what do you want to do? What do you want to achieve? I want to be in entertainment. Yeah. I want to be uh, doing what I love, doing what I feel like I'm meant to do, and do what fulfills me uh, at the end of the day. Like, I can be around stuff like this and cameras and stuff. Like, yeah. I can leave a set or whatever, and I'm like, well, I can't wait to wake up tomorrow and go back to the yes. set and do that. I was so stoked for this. Is yeah. This is not even a movie or yeah. nothing, but, like, yeah. this is this lights yeah. me up. Yeah, and, like, even being around the people that work on sets and stuff, like, it's just, like, fuck man people are amazing and just like you know you know it's not like everything's peach sunshines and rainbows but like fuck it man you can take the bad when you're doing what you love yes man. you know what i mean um, so so safe to say you you'd like to land a role in like a decent movie oh yeah absolutely I, i'm definitely going to try that's your long term yeah i'm definitely going to long term man you know if it's up to me i'll be you know hollywood actor or something like that but yeah, like, you gotta start yeah. somewhere but like i'm not saying that was ever going to happen but i'm definitely going to and I take each, I have goals that are where I want to be in five to ten years, yeah. but I'm also taking each day at a time. Yeah. So, you know, I'm appreciating each day and appreciate appreciating every opportunity. I'm working hard to make every opportunity the best it can be. So, uh, I'm I'm, but in five years time, I know where I want to be. But yeah. but if I'm not there in five years time, I might be there in ten. So yeah. like I'm I'm just taking each day and working. You're going in that direction. Working hard each day and trying to make it happen. So, yeah. uh, but at the same time, you know. Being grounded and, uh, you know, taking care of my family, doing what needs to be done to take care of my family is priority number one. Yeah. But I'm chasing goals. I'm trying to make things happen and just trying to do it my way. There's no blueprint. And, uh, and anybody, everybody and anybody that gives me advice, I take it. You know what I mean? Keep my uh, mind. Yeah, it does. A little bit of advice and a big amount of advice doesn't matter. It's all advice and it's something I didn't know. So, uh, yeah, just learning each day, moving forward. And, and in five years' time, if I'm not where I want to be, Fuck, man. I might be doing 10, so I'm still going to keep working. So as long as my family and myself are happy and healthy, I'm happy. So, yeah, that's right. You know, so. Um, do you have any, are you working on anything at the moment that you're allowed to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not allowed. I'm working on. You don't I'm, have to say what it is. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm trying. I'm working on some film stuff. I'm, I'm, I can't really say what or how or, 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 or when, or when, <laughs> or when this is a key one, but, uh, I'm definitely got some things going on that I'm really, I'll, I'll leave it at this. I'm really excited about I really, I got to raise my voice on that one. Yeah, that's fine. I'm super, yeah, I'm super excited about what's going on in my life right now. Things are really going in the direction I want. And, uh, I'm hopefully, and I'm, I'm praying that it turns out well. And, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm fucking enjoying the ride, man. It's, it's really fun. Yeah, it's so really that's fun. a little teaser for the fans. Just a little teaser. <laughs> teaser for you guys. Something in the works. Something in the works, right? So, yeah, and and, and just positive vibes, man. It's all good. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm just really enjoying it. Oh, like like this moment right now, I'm enjoying it. Yes, man. <laughs> um, getting back to the show, I th I'm sure there's so many things that people would like to know. Mm. And, by the way, maybe in the comments, ask some questions, and then the next time I have them, I have them on. Yeah. We'll ask. And he'll answer if he can. I will. 110%. I love the questions. Um, 
How was the food? Like, it was all, was it all HelloFresh? Uh, no, it wasn't all HelloFresh. Like, bro, like, they, they take care of you in the house, bro. Yeah, like, like, it looked like, oh my God, man. Like, I could have ate, like, we all ate like kings. Whatever we wanted, we ate. Um, and if we didn't have it, we asked for it. Like, I remember. And they got it. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I mean, like, it was like your uh, guardian angels in there. Like, whenever you wished for something, boom, it was in the fridge. So like they're asking you shall receive. Asking you shall receive. Now slop kind of sucked. Oh my but, god! Uh, what is that again? Uh, you know what, man? I don't want to say it too loud, but it wasn't that bad. Oh I, no! I didn't find it that bad at all. Okay, so what, do, do you know what? <laughs> don't tell it? Daniel. See, I said that. <laughs> well, that depends if he's gonna watch this or not. Yeah, if he doesn't watch that, don't tell him. But yeah, no, uh, bro, it was like. Well, you know, you're you're into bodybuilding pretty hardcore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you're no stranger to oats. And, okay. And, yeah. yeah, so it was like oats and, and and I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but I'm saying it anyway. Oats and like protein. Very nutritious. Like, oh sure. Full oats everything. and protein. Oh oats, protein, and like a couple of other things. So like now it's not something if you eat it all day every day, you're, you're sick of it. You're gonna be a little bit of cranky Janie, you know what I'm saying? Like you're gonna be you're gonna be cranky. But uh Bro, like I, I you didn't mind, but Dan, I mean, I remember Dan S. Oh, yeah. Dan S. Got creative, right? He's creative. He's very yeah, he's creative like a cook, guy. Right? And Bo, he's a chef. I don't care what you say. Yeah, like he's that, a good that cook. That dude, he he should go into some kind of like, a, or even a, a chef reality show. That dude needs to yes, go on. He's a great dude. chef because he cooked a lot, right? Oh, bro, he, he and he's so intuitive and so like tedious in what he was cooking. He's very good, very good chef, very good chef. Yeah. But uh, he made cookies. He made cookies like these little oh, out of the slop. slop cookies, right? I was like, I was like, God, these cookies aren't bad. And your boss was like, Yeah, it's slop. I'm like. What? Why did they just bake it in the oven? <laughs> yeah, he just baked them in the oven, right? I was like, "This is slop." I was like, "This ain't that bad." Now I wasn't on slop, but I ate the slop. But like the like, you tried it. Yeah, a couple of the guys. Uh, I forget who was actually on slop, but Dan, Dan, Dan C, C hated, right? Dan C. He hated, hated it. Daniel C. Hated it. He hated I, I think he like almost cried one time. Right? <laughs> he is. A, yeah, I love that guy. He's great. Oh yeah, but, he uh, seemed like a good guy. Yeah, he's fun, but. Uh, yeah, no, man, slop. It wasn't that bad, man. But like I said, now I'm, I was on slop. So like, if you, I was on slop for like a extended period of time, you'd probably be probably be cursing it out a little bit right now. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no. But like I said, it was oats and protein and like I think a few other things, like a few other additives. But like, not not the nothing worst, gross. Not the worst. No, nothing gross. Like it's not wouldn't the worst thing you eat in the world, right? Yeah, it just looks worse than probably what it is. Oh god. What I mean, like protein mixed up with oats, it doesn't really look that good either. No, it looks gross. But like. It's protein mixed with those, not that bad. Yeah. Not that bad at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so it was, it was pretty funny. <laughs> um, but so breakfast, like, you, you, what was it? Like breakfast, lunch, supper, snacks? Yeah. Uh, well, it was usually like everyone fed. Ah, then again, like breakfast time, like Anika and stuff. That was usually her jam. She usually, uh, no pun intended, but she, uh, <laughs> she, she woke up. She'd usually have breakfast for everybody, man. She'd make breakfast for everybody, cook it, and then everybody had breakfast. Not every day now, but, but like, a lot. A lot, right? And then like uh, there was, uh, and, and the funny thing is no matter what was going on in the house, like how tense things were or how much drama was going on, we all came together for supper or dinner, whatever you want to call it. Is yeah. uh, I think we, only us call it supper. Yeah, we call it. Yeah, we supper. But it's right? actually dinner. Yeah, dinner, right? <laughs> I got used to calling it dinner. And lunch is lunch, yeah, right? lunch is lunch, right? Lunch is lunch, right? So we call that dinner. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's funny because, uh, yeah, we all came together, man. It was the weirdest thing. We all sit down at the table, like, you know, I could be on one end and someone that I was not, you know, seeing eye to eye, we could be on the other. But we all came together and for 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 for, for supper yeah. slash dinner, like, and it was. It was a very special time of day. So even though we didn't really know any time of day, but we still had our, our meals together, right? So, yeah. like, you know, I mean, it was when you sit down and eat, that's like a, a what's the word I'm looking for? It's a very, um, very uh, come together kind of time. Yeah. Right. So, family time. Family time, right? So, like, and no matter how ugly things got in there, ah, we're all one big, just unconventional family. Absolutely. Mm. Was there a gym? Yes, there was. Uh, was it decent? Oh, yeah, I had a squat rack, and, like, uh, you had a bike there, and you had some, like, dumbbells. Oh, yeah, I had a full gym there, right? Okay. Yeah, so yeah. So, it worked out. Yeah, and a season full of mega athletes. So, like... <laughs> yes, dude. Dude, man. It, like, you look at Hope. I, I remember I remember the scene. Dude, Hope. he is... Dude is English, a freak yeah. athlete, bro. And, like, I remember seeing... Good dancer, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, amazing dancer. So am I, though. So am I. Oh, I'm absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, totally good. Answer. Show hope up. Just didn't want to show it on TV. No yeah, I didn't want to make hope look bad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and like, I remember I first seen hope, and I was like, fuck. I remember I sat behind him, and we we're on our way in. I was like, damn. I was like, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm a big guy, and you know, didn't I seen hope sit down in front of me in the chair? I was like, fuck. Yeah, this guy is 
immaculate. And only like, 23. You know, yeah. And I was like, man. And then I seen him like jumping or like doing these inner, like he's just doing his thing. Yeah. And I was like, man, this guy is like impressive. You know what I'm saying? Like he's a, he's an athlete. You know what I mean? Yeah. Then he told me what he did and stuff. It made sense. And, you know, and, and you see Rob. Rob's a, a fucking athlete. Is too. he a personal trainer? He is. Yeah. Yeah. Two he, of them, he, right? He, yeah. He manages his gym. I, yeah. I believe. Yeah. And he's, um, super fit guy in shape and then ties of a freak athlete yes man. and uh, and uh dan s dan s yeah he's into he's it too a, he's a fucking athlete bro like dj he, too right dj yeah, yeah yeah and super impressed me early on in the game and ain't game my respect early on in the game yeah and uh dan and dan c man i'm gonna tell you daniel c is a beast is he yeah oh bro i don't know what was like on the show but like seeing him compete he was a competitor, no yes, doubt right. about it. And all the females, like they were all had like athletic backgrounds. Like it was a stacked season, I feel. Yeah, everyone right? was in, yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. Was. Like everyone had some kind of, kind of athletic background, yeah. right? So it was it was really fun in that sense. Very competitive. competitive, very oh my god, competitive, bro. It was so competitive, and like things got hot in there too. But looking back, like you know, you know it just, the yeah. game deserved that testility, right? Yeah, so, it's a show. Yeah, and like you had a lot of like you know, as like I said, like I remember was, I was like. I'm in mean, pretty good physical condition, like you know, whatever. Got the upper hand, yeah, yeah, upper hand. And then I walked in, I seen these guys, and I was like, yeah, shit, oh, shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely got my work cut out for me here. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, this is funny. So <laughs> I know how the fans felt and the viewers watching, but how mm. did you feel uh, coming from being a fisherman? Mm. Not being able to untie those knots. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> I'm only, I don't know what you're talking I'm about. I'm only kidding. No. <laughs> no beyond, okay, I'll take you step by step. Yes, my my mindset at that time. Oh, my God. Uh, first, when we were stood up, I was nervous. I was like, shit, I really should have ate a couple bananas because I'm starved. Oh, really? But, yeah, I was like, and, but, and then me and Claudia were teamed up, and um, she went up on top part of there, and I had to, I had to start off by untying knots. And I think Daniel C. and Anika, I think, were next to us. I think it was Dan C. Nika. And what was happening? Yeah, and then the competition started, and we had to untie those knots. I was like, yeah, no big deal. I'll get these knots. No big deal. And I was like, kind of laxy daisy. Yeah. And then I seen Daniel C. take off, and this dude was going. And yes. I, was, I was like, oh, wow. You got to pick up your game. I got to pick my game up. This is competitive. I had no idea. Yeah. It was like an eye opener. Yeah. And uh, I was like, I'm doing my knots. Next time I seen him, like, four or five knots ahead of me and i was like shit They're yes like, i was watching i was like, like beast. dude you better hurry up yeah, i was like laxy daisy because i figured like yeah i'll get knocked no big deal right and then i just seen daniel see like the guy opened my eyes and i was just like yeah he is competing right yeah so uh yeah it was a close that that first comp that first first that, one the very first one yeah it was it, me and claudia was uh teamed up it was it was a close one it was a close one we almost got the dead last i'm so happy we didn't and uh because i would have took the blame for that one. Oh my god but uh yeah it was uh but we got it alive and uh better for it and uh it opened up my eyes to what the game was going to be like i was like yeah this is big brother canada and people came to compete came to win yeah. came to win right so mm. absolutely mm. um i had another question too so all these games that you guys used to play are they always in individual different rooms or are they always set up in the same room differently, say? Mostly same room differently. Yeah. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. 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 Now things change like it's Big Brother. Uh, so like you don't know what you're getting one day to the next. I mean, one season to the next, everything. Like they, they very, they're very good at keeping you on your toes. You'll never get the same thing twice in there, man. Like it's, it's incredible in that sense. Like you're always into something new. Every day is different. Uh, so it's uh, it's pretty crazy in the sense that you don't know where you're getting. But like mostly, like the big comps are like in the same room, right? Okay. So, yeah. So it's, and like uh, the man, that's the, that leaves me like the people that are building these competitions are like on fire. Like I'm like, dude, like if How I had to keep coming up with this, if I had a constr- oh yeah, and the, and the, the thought that goes into these games, I'm just like, I was blown away. I was like, this is incredible. Someone thought this up, bro. Oh, like, I know. Like, I was thinking the same thing I'm as like, I was watching it. I was yeah, like, yeah, like where's this coming from? Where's man, this it's coming different from? all the time. Someone's mind, and like you know, it's incredible. And then you got the people, the, you know, people that put these things together. I'm like, man, they, they put it together in record time. I'm just like, if I had a construction company, I'm like. Whatever they're paying you, I'll pay you double. You just come work for me. Yeah, it's a lot like, to put together. Because <laughs> I'm just like, dude, these like uh, people that are working on these things are like, boom, 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 boom. Like, and next you know, a day later, you got this massive, crazy slide basketball game. And next you know, you're out there and you're like, man, 
someone put this together overnight? You're like, this is crazy. Oh, you know what dude, I mean? Yeah. Like, I thought know? the same thing. But uh, yeah, and then coming from a construction background, I'm, yeah. like, I'm just like, that's impressive. It's a lot impressive. of work. It's a lot I'm, of work. I'm sure they got a big crew. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And a very uh, cohesive crew that are like, you know yes. what I'm saying? Like, click, click, click. As soon as the game is over. Yeah, yeah. Boom, 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 right? Yeah. So, because, uh, yeah, so like, so, you know, and that's a lot of the stuff you don't get uh, unless you're in the game is like, you know, the ins and outs of it all. Like, is is all of the whole thing as a whole like um is so impressive the game itself the house the manor whatever you want to call it is uh is all very very impressive and it all comes down to like someone came up with these ideas someone came up with the idea for this manor and stuff like that like you're just like man their creative minds are oh, so dude. impressive and you got to respect it yeah. you know what i mean yeah. you're just like man their creative minds their creative mindset made this happen because like let's be honest without that you don't got to show no. You don't got a show, bro. No. You, but if the ideas and the creativity, you don't got a show. All of that was once a thought. All that was once a thought. And they probably told somebody and you're like, yeah, that's silly. Hmm. And then you're like, and you can be like, oh, yeah, maybe you're right. Or, you know what? That's not silly. That's, that's something. That's you awesome. got something. It's awesome. You know what I mean? And you got to respect that. Yeah. You know what I mean? I do. I do. I hundred. Up, 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 most respect for that kind of thing, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, was the house as big as it looked on TV, <laughs> like uh, being there, it got bigger as the weeks went on because people left. But uh, it, oh, I'm telling you, it's pretty big, hey? It was big, but like after a couple of weeks of living with people in that house, it got a lot small. of people though. I guess yeah, 16, 16 yeah, yeah, people. Yeah, so yeah, and uh, and two bedrooms, and like you had to share a bed and stuff, and it got pretty. You got to know people quick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you, you got to know people so. Like I'm, I remember you always got a thing with somebody, right? Like I, I remember. In the kitchen, like it was always like at the first couple of weeks, it was like that's where I got to know Vanessa and like uh, and Dan S and uh, then I you know obviously I got to know the guys and because we all just bonded pretty quick and then and then like you know just going up to Cozy Cove and or wherever and just chatting with Anika or Daniel C and like then it, out in the flamingo room with, with Shanae and it was always. No matter where I went in the house, I had a thing with somebody. Yeah. I, had, I had a conversation with somebody. I always knew I could be, yeah, I'm going to go in this room or just, just part You of were pretty house. tight with everyone. Yeah, like I had a good relationship. But I, that was all I did because go around and mingle and get to know people and hear the stories. And, man, I'm telling you, I won't go into detail, but so many cool stories those the people in the house had. It was incredible. Yeah, of course, you can't tell people yeah, other yeah, people's stories. Yeah, so it was pretty fun, and, you know, in that sense. And, uh, but, but, buddy, it got – it's like it, the more tense things got in the house, the smaller the house got. Yeah, you, you know what I mean, and like you know, when things got tense, things got tense. Yeah, you know, so like the house shrunk pretty quick, but uh, as people left, it felt empty. Like I remember the first. Yes, I, man. I, I remember when uh, the first eviction when John Michael went home. I felt sad. Yeah, because like I, I got to know John Michael a little bit when we were handcuffed together. And I was like, man, me and this guy got so much in common. You, you look at two of us and you're like, yeah, they're two different people all together. Yeah. But then we sat down. We both loved the video games. We both loved the fashion part. Like, we, we, we got along so well. I was like, fuck, man. I don't, this guy is, this guy isn't, I don't know, man. I don't really want him to go home. That's you know why it's nice. Mean? It's always awesome meeting new people. Yeah. And then, and then like, you got to send them home. And like, fuck, I just got to know this guy. I like this guy. I, I want to be around this guy. I want to hang up with this guy. I want to talk to him more and get to know him. And, you know, he's getting voted out. And, so it's tough, yeah, right? So it's have, very mind bending, yeah. right? So, you know, it's definitely challenging. But um, the hardest part, no matter how small it felt, was people leaving because, yeah. like, no matter how bad things were with in the house, there was always that little part that they did in their house that was missing. Mm. You know what I mean? So, like, um, like when you know when JM left, it was an energy guy. He was a big character. Like, you know what I mean? If someone you missed. He was. Yeah. So and That's it, why he got voted out because yeah. he was strong. And then, like, you know, Dan C, Dan S and stuff, like, he was heavily missed. I was like, fuck, man, I really missed. And it, I wasn't even working with the guy. But me and him got along. Really yeah, well. you guys were tight. Yeah, yeah. We, we just got along. We yeah. just hung out. And I was like, fuck, man, I really missed Dan S. Even though he was against me, I was just like, fuck, I really missed the guy. You know? But then at least you yeah. got to uh, reunite. Yeah, yeah, reunite and stuff. And, and, you know, but being in the house, like, it was, man, honestly, God, like, take it from me. That game was just, it was like, it was incredible. Like, yes. you know, I never experienced anything like that. No, I probably I never experienced imagine, anything no. like it for my life. Oh. And like, it was, it was really cool, bro. It was really cool. And I mean that most sincerely as I possibly can. It was yeah. cool. Yeah. And like, you know, 
fuck i mean thinking about it now like i thought through the cast of this season i miss you guys i really do you, you know you i hope everyone's doing good i hope everyone's happy healthy and just fucking living so uh i miss you guys and i'm happy we got to experience this together you actually didn't watch the show yet did you to be honest, no. I watched the first episode, and expand. I'm like, I got everybody in my head as as they are, and I'm as like, what you experienced. Yeah. And, and now you got to watch it and yeah, see. And I'm like things that you never seen. Yeah. And I'm like, man, I don't want half afraid. Yeah, I'm half afraid. Like, I don't want to look at somebody differently. I don't want to look at myself differently. Uh, I don't want to look at like you know doubt myself or like man, fuck, I could have done that better or or and, and like just watching myself on TV is kind of awkward. But like, is you know, and I'm like. You know, if someone says something behind my back, it was all in the heat of a game. I understand that. And I'm just like, man, I don't want to see it. You know what I mean? Like, it's not that. It's just that, like, I, w- I am going to watch it. You're going it. to, but you're, you're going to watch it. Off, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, me and Hope had a plan to watch it together, but uh, it just didn't happen when I was in Toronto. But uh, I'm, I'm going to, before this, before September's out, you'll have it watched. I'll have it all back. I'm. Now blown that you never watched it yet i would have wanted to watch it right away like oh you know yeah so many people said that to me uh, right like, mm, but uh yeah, yeah anyways maybe once you watch it uh we'll, we'll chat again yeah yeah <laughs> yeah exactly yeah we'll chat again about and it. like even early on in the game like the relationships i had built like um well zach for example like he, you know he had his he got his history with with the show and stuff or, or on the show like whatever the way things happen but like at the beginning of that game, man, like, fuck, man, like, me and him were close. Yeah, you I've know seen what that. I mean? Seen you know, that. I knew when Zach was gaming and when he wasn't gaming. And when, and I, I liked it when he wasn't gaming because he'd come to sit down with me and we just shoot shit. We just hang out. And, you know, he knew that, like, he could just chill, kick it with me, right? So, yeah. you know, and whatever happened in the game happened in the game. Yeah. But, like, those moments, I, I, I remember. The other moments. Yeah. Those the other moments. You don't want to see the other ones. Yeah. I remember them and I'm like, fuck, man, they were cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so, and, like, with Ta, too, like, man, fuck there was a point in that game when Todd was when I trusted the most yeah you know what I mean I was like that's my guy like you know when, I, when I'm feeling down I'm gonna go talk to him you know mm-hmm. what I mean yeah things happen and they, they change but but at the, there was times in the game that that was the way it was you yeah. know so and I I I value those moments if that makes any sense yeah, you know what I'm saying so like I don't want that to change you know 100% yeah um, is there <laughs> is there anything that happened in the house that was kind of juicy that uh, <laughs> that you could share, or maybe you're not allowed to share. Ooh, see what I can get into here. Mm, 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 mm. Well, Tell the fans. Well, Tell us more. Juicy, 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 juicy. I'm sure there were some juicy moments. I mean, you know, it's hard to cover something that Big Brother didn't, because like that's the. But then again, you don't know what they covered. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> juicy, juicy, juicy. Hmm. <laughs> well, I don't know. Got to be some tea. Tea, tea, tea. There was so much tea, but now I can't think of anything. It's, on the spot, say. Eh? On the spot, right? Yeah. Um. I mean, uh, man, I don't know. It was, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's ju- in regards to juicy, like, I remember. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't, I seen, I seen Shania and Dan S happening before it happened. So, like, it was kind of flirtatious there. But uh, I'm so happy that they got together. It's a great couple. I love both of them and they're great stuff too. Hopefully yeah. you get to meet them. They're pretty, Are they together they're, now? They're cool people. Oh, yeah, they're together. Oh, now. really? Oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they're, the, they're the showmans that should have been on the show. Because yeah, I don't think it really... Yeah, yeah. Because they, they didn't on the show, right? They didn't date on it the was, show, no. It was post. Yeah, it was post show. Yeah, post show. I don't even think anyone knows that. No, uh, yeah, I think, no... Um, I think they did a podcast together, I believe. Oh, but yeah. they didn't show it on the TV, though. No, 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 no. They, 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 I think they like officially became a couple after the show. That's awesome, Which though. I'm super pumped about because, like, dude, like, you know, when you see two people together, you're like, fuck, they're great together. Yeah. That was the two people I've yeah. seen. I was like, man, they're great together, right? That's awesome. But, uh, yeah, so no. Uh, and it got juice. I'm not really too sure, man. Like, um, yeah, it was it was, it was. Cr- it was very drama filled, I guess. Yeah. You know, but uh, I kind of stayed in my lane in a sense. Kept yourself. Okay, yeah. Stay clear well, of stuff. Uh, yeah, well, well, you stay clear of it as much as you could. As much as I could, right? So I, I you know, I picked my battles, and uh, if it wasn't involving me, you know, honestly, somehow I got involved anyways because I just wanted to keep the peace. Yeah. Uh, you know me, right? It, yes. was, it was an argument there. I was like, yeah, I'm just going to go down and make sure, you know, stuff doesn't go sideways. Put out fire. Yeah. Like, I remember when uh, the bot, you know, I think it was. Ty and Dan S were in the kitchen and Santina was in the oh, kitchen. Oh, was that about the... Uh, the secret HOH. Yes. And I knew yes, who the secret yes, HOH was. Yes, I remember that. And uh, they were all over Santina and I was like, fuck, man. I was like, man, I gotta have Santina's back here, but I don't want to let him, anyone know that she's the HOH or whatever. So I was like, I'm just going to stand here and try to deflect 
You know what I mean? When they're, when they're, you know, coming at her because they were just, you know, it was, yes. it was the heat of the moment in the game. Right. So I was like, man, maybe I'm the HOH. I was like, Hey guys, maybe I'm the HOH. You're, like, You're not the HOH. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, it could be. It could <laughs> totally, but like, you know, uh, I just wanted to deflect it off her. Right. Cause I thought a lot of, Help her out, I, yeah. I think a lot of Santina, like me and Santina in that house were like, fuck man. We were like, we, uh, even if we didn't game, like we'd spend like hours just chatting and just talking about life. Like, yeah. so I, you know, I care about her in there. Right. Yeah, I didn't want to see her hurt. Great conversation. Yeah. Yeah. Great con. you know, so, you know, it was, it was, it was, yeah. So I wanted to just help be, her out, help her out. Right. So, and I knew she was making bold moves, big moves, which she did with her secret HOH. She wasn't scared to make a big move. No. Uh, and you got to respect that too. Like the, the, I always said it like the, the women in that game were fierce. Yeah. Like you look at the guys on paper, you're like, fuck, man, they're big athletes, blah, blah, blah. But the most biggest, I know a guy won, but also like the biggest threats in the game, I believe, were females too. You got to be careful. Like, you know, they were, they were like big time targets. Like, and the Claudia, she turned into a comp beast and she was like, you know, fierce. Well, she got to the bottom too, man. She's like, you know, you got to respect that. And like, and, and, and Renee, her social game was fucking fierce and like she was a, a, a juggernaut in there and then you and, and Shanae's heart was as big as the manor and then like you had Koozie the Queen Koozie like she was, <laughs> she was a threat like she was oh, a player she was a threat you know yeah. what I mean and Anika her, her, her willing to fight for what she believed in she and if she had something to say she didn't care if she was looking the devil in the face bro she was like I'm gonna tell you what I think tell how like, it is she was, she was a fighter you know what I mean? And like, and sorry, bro. Yeah, another yeah. interruption there. Oh yeah, no sweat. What time is it? Can Steph do it with you? Okay. What time is it? It's at four o'clock. Oh. Yeah. Oh. What time is it? We can we can cut it. Can you do it? John. Okay. Give, give me five minutes. Oh, I'll wrap this up. I'll wrap this up. I heard John. I'm like, what? <laughs> I'll wrap it. Right now. Yeah, we'll wrap it. We'll wrap it. It's cool though. That's good. Yeah. It's four o one. Oh, perfect. Okay, I'll, okay. Wrap, I'll wrap it Sweet. up. I'll wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, we can wrap it up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because, yeah. like, I feel like... Uh, we probably got enough for sh- first episode, eh? Oh, my God, dude. We almost got two hours. Oh, wow. Holy fuck, dude. We almost got two hours. Yeah, it was four yeah, o'clock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. We started around two. Wow. But... Uh, Shit, I got to go, too. What time do you got to go? I got to go... I think Liam got to be at it, over across town for 5.30. So, okay, we got last okay, time. Okay, yeah. Got but time. I got 10 we minutes. Got but, we got last time, yeah. Um, no, I it, yeah. I literally, I could probably sit here for another two hours. With oh, you. easy, easy yeah. right? Just, just but that's too long. But I, I figured it was going to be at least an hour and a half to two hours, anyways. Yeah, that'll give you like a forty-five minutes to an hour of material, like content. Oh no, like yeah, it's probably going to be. I'm not. There's not going to be much cut from this. Oh, cool. No, Sweet. right. This is going to yeah. be awesome. Awesome. Um, you know, not everyone's going to listen to it all, but yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. like some some podcasts are like that, right? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. But uh, where were we to that time before we? We're got just in? talking about the women in the game. Yeah, and uh, yeah, no. Um, I guess you will sum it up. Like, yeah. yeah. No, I definitely had more questions, but I, I don't feel like this is the end for me and you. So it no. doesn't really matter. Just the beginning. Just the beginning. Just the beginning. Whisper. <laughs> ASMR. Yeah. yeah. Johnny Show. Stay tuned. <laughs> Johnny Squared. Johnny Squared. What? Two is better than one. Yeah, two is always better than one. Um, no, but. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, no, man. Listen, hey, it's been an absolute pleasure I'm, I'm so pumped about you having this you getting this thing on the go to johnny show i'm stoked to be part of it i'm even more stoked to be the first episode i yeah. know you're going to do well with this i'm excited to see where it goes and hey man who knows maybe i can be a part of this show like you know what i you mean you never so, know man i you know yeah i think you'd be a great co-host i, I think so too and i appreciate clear, the confidence clearly got good chemistry oh yeah and mm-hmm. uh there's lots to talk about. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, anyways, um, unfortunately, we got to wrap this up. But uh, thanks for coming on. Thank you. Greatly appreciate it. Yeah. And you know, you'll be on again. Yes, sir. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share. Tell your mother. Tell your father. <laughs> uh, follow me on Instagram at Johnny Show Official, Johnny Show Dad Official, Dot Official, uh, YouTube channel, The Johnny Show, and uh, there's gonna be a new episode every week. So. Uh, Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace.